Stop being so sensitive, bitch. <laughs> Ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titty done. Is Trina there? Trina. World, are y'all ready? When this sound begin, we about to go in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch, yeah. You ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gonna be all in their bliss. Trying to make you laugh until you kiss, yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this. It's on. it's on. I'm about to say some real things. Rip the mic and bring the pain. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this. seen no show like this motherfucker what it do 5150 back in the house i am Corey holcomb this is darlene or ortiz og ortiz oh, he said orgy ain't nobody catching but mark <laughs> You know Mark is back from where you was at the Bahamas? Yeah, okay. old Nassau, Bahamas. Mark is out true. there, goddammit, with his fellow brada. I man, there's so much cake ass shit happening, man. Man. I mean, we can start with Marcus. Marcus told a story. I we can start with it. I don't give a fuck because I find happened? it, I find it funny. Because insecure people are out here justifying nonsense. You <laughs> dig what I'm saying? We got men arguing with insane people that they are women. My nigga Craig facts in the house. We just Craig. started this baby. Well, well, well. Craig. We got people arguing that men are women. We got all this. But this one, I really take joy in hearing. Marcus told me something. And it doesn't catch me off guard because I know insecurity when I see insecurity. Insecurity is always tripping about something. But now she's been caught tripping on something that she's the last person to be tripping on. Marcus, what happened? Oh, Lizzo. Big blah, blah, blah. Lizzo. She is being sued for sexual harassment, uh, uh, creating a uh, hostile uh, work environment. So you know she keep the big girl. Chilling Pip. Up. Thanks for the yard. <laughs> she was harassing who? <laughs> she put a hit on that motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, what your big ass do? What happened? Well, you know, she, she, you know, she keep the big girls with her. You know what I mean? I thought it was one guy in the in the pack though. Out of all the girls, I don't know why it was. I thought I saw a name like that. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He go wants some fat too. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> well, the form they form employees now. But they suing her. Um, she had, they went to the Red Light District out there in Amsterdam. And, you know, they had the sex workers out there in the Red Light District in Amsterdam. 
I heard they was shutting the door when they walked in. <laughs> 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 you know, go oh ahead. She was trying to. Yeah. They made her going through the garage door. She was trying to get them to do sexual acts on the on the on the workers on the uh the sex workers and shit. You know, she was trying to get them like uh something banana or something that they had had in they in their shit. You know what I mean? And uh, she got the fat yeah, shaming. Uh, She's our fat shaming the, uh, yeah. the the other girl. What Talking what? about she getting too big and shit. Uh, Talking about her own dad? Yeah. Like, yeah. So told me she was getting too big. Uh, she didn't yeah. want no competition, I guess. What are these monkey hookers? Why they got bananas in there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, they got a whole setup. Like, it'll look like living rooms and everything. You been there before, Greg? I haven't been there okay, yet. Okay, I've been I many times. Go. A lot of yeah. stars who are not, this is what stars do. They won't have people more attractive around them. Mm -hmm. Well, Lizzo, that's a, Damn. So can you imagine what Lizzo What's has to go through? Her, nigga? Yeah. Yeah. She like some teenage uh, rhinoceroses around there. They, they tipping, <laughs> they tipping over the tour bus. <laughs> 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 One bitch on each axle. You can't have. <laughs> got a recruiting, a recruiting desk in front of Lane Bryant. <laughs> as, as with anything, though, I wonder how much of this, because it'll come out in the case or what have you, if it goes far, is true. Because you know what happens when you gain. Stardom, money. Oh, I thought you were talking about weight. Oh, wait, yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, 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 he snuck one in on you early. <laughs> anyway, so. Shit, I ain't the you... only one gaining weight up here. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she tried okay. to make it seem like it's all in her shoulders. I, I, I already told you I'm, making, I'm, 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 I'm loving it. I'm loving my bigger size. And it comes with age. Plus, again, like I said, I'm many years older than you guys, and I've had a baby. I don't know what y'all excuses. So. You had a baby. Were, so me. what? And that was about what? 40 years ago. And how many have you yeah. had? Yeah, but once you get strong, really? <laughs> really? Have you have you gained seventy five yeah, pounds just, just like I, that I, in nine months? Yeah. And then what happened? I did, so I did, I, I'm just saying. Dude, I just I just met a chick Enough. who just had a baby like a few months ago. She already so shit what? Back. Everybody's different. Yeah. And how old is she? Is huh? she fifty six? About to be fifty seven? You and didn't have no baby at no fifty six. You I'm had a baby thirty years ago. I'm not saying I had him at fifty six. <laughs> in other words, I'm saying a lot of things that can happen to women by you guys don't go through. So why just you sound older. like Lizzo with the excuses. Why don't older right. It ain't no excuses. That is the reason. That's there's reasons. Why don't older women celebrate the day they run out? Of why is that? Not I, I was, no, I was excited. You know why is that I didn't say that. I didn't. I wouldn't put it like no that. Rubber. Like ran out of eggs, but I was excited when I didn't. When yeah. I stopped. Do they that. run out of eggs or they eggs are no good? They, I think they actually they go a bad. Like they eggs. just go. Yeah, it's they low, low. low like you guys got low, low. That's a better holiday than low June testosterone count. They, they got a low little. Count. <laughs> they got a little nigga inside of cooking. He's struggling the eggs up. Thank you, Ty. Love exactly. I don't. They that don't phase me. Look at these fellas. This Who one right did you here. say thank you right to? Here, all of them. This one right here is supposed to be younger than me. This one younger than me too. And look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Uh huh. What? Well, I look good. Oh yeah. Oh, see? Do you see this? I you love see all this body over here. I love his confidence. Yeah. It's all right. Good, I love his baby. confidence. You see I, all this body over here. Deep with the Uh oh. I don't know. You always have them old men suits on. Marcus is all. I don't ever see. I can't tell. Yeah. Show me what you got, fella. What you got to come in here with some Marcus, a lot of dressed like small soldiers. Swim nah. shorts. <laughs> you but a lot of your suits, Marcus, do be like, I'll I, take you there. <laughs> <laughs> so you go to <laughs> thunderstorm outfits. Thank yeah, you, Kills. How do you say Thank that name? Kills. Oh, 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 Obadiah Ben Yisrael. Love y'all, Corey. Israel. You my favorite. Marcus, I love the come up. Craig, you're the man. I had to stay up late to pay y'all all, all praise due to the most high. Yeah. He ain't say shit to you, dude. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. His name, what you need to be and obedient. He, he might That's be gay. Name. Maybe he gay. He just not he feeling y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we start down early. Let's today. go there. Let's go there, pal. <laughs> dude, now all boys to the side. You carry your oh, yeah. weight very well. You look nice. Damn wait on you. You I carry know. it uphill like this. Oh yeah, you find out. You find out one day. What is it, little red fox? What, little red yoke. fox. Little red fox. Want, want, want a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> All the women in Arkansas built like that. D, you'll just be regular. Though. Thank you, hello. Thank you. They'll just be like, you know, little old bitty D. In exactly. Arkansas. They probably but I'm telling you right now, everywhere I go, certain places, I'm standing there. I do. I feel like um Kind of gargantuan. And the core right. arm stayed at the age 38. Uh -huh. <laughs> My arms? <laughs> <laughs> Big arms, different age than his body. <laughs> Young, Wait, you gotta, come to uh, Nashville, huh? Marcus, okay. you got to, like, 
when you're going back to Arkansas, you got like a set amount of money. Once you hit that, you go. No, you're not gonna return. Are you ever gonna return home? Like to live it? No, back? hell no. See, he out of there. there. We hit thirty thousand. You gonna retire? He going back home. <laughs> you stupid, Craig. He going back home with four thousand to build a school in Arkansas. <laughs> That's messed up. You go buy everybody TVs, fat bags. That nigga gonna be looking like Corella Deville. It's not a drink. It's a new power. It's a new energy. Hey, did y'all find the super simp? Uh oh. Y'all got y'all got a video queued up. Y'all can play. Explain it. What now? Okay, it's all good. I just want people to know, cause like a lot of people don't know future killers and murderers when they see them. Oh, man. Oh, I, I could peep some. I, I <laughs> get, yeah, just children? like I, yeah. No, I'm talking about grown men. They ain't did it yet, yeah. but they going to pull it one day because they weird. What y'all, y'all, let me know how, how far y'all off. Oh, yeah, that's okay. off. Already? You know what? Y'all that's saw this lane. You haven't even heard him say anything. Have I? I don't know who You saw is. the lane, no. no. I ain't seen it. You ain't seen this video? Nope. Wait till you hear this video. It is. Okay. Oh, my God. Hold on. And yes. Really. Can you can play we it? it? Are we going to get in trouble for playing? No, it's not. It's public. How you say do it? Go ahead. So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything. So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just, I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that, I guess, is out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right, and I just get stood up. Like, my feelings didn't even matter. I'm sitting there eating a meal by myself, and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, alien dating shouldn't even be the... <laughs> he said dating, That's and hilarious. before he was cut off, he said dating shouldn't be this hard, brother. That is what I want to say. A lot yeah. of this stuff sometimes would be setups. Yeah. But I'm I just want to say, if you ever see a man talking like that, that mm. man is going to kill somebody one day. Yeah. That man is, to be cut that dude off. Yeah, y'all cut dude off. To be that age and to just be, and to not know that life comes with certain, a dating? Just because you got stood up, bless his, ooh, What's man, that's, is, that's crazy. That's more than noticed, bless his heart. Y'all probably didn't notice while he was talking, one of the eyes was still scanning oh, the room looking spray, for old bro, girl. Like, Carissa, right. Bless his heart. <laughs> he did what? Stop. This nigga sitting in the wheelchair, bro. I can't. I oh, want well, you to stop. That, that's that's not why nice. it's so close, man. It's got to be. I don't think nice. people know the danger of people like that. People yeah. who cry for nothing. Yeah. Like. Well, he's an older gentleman, too, so that's quite scary. Because it's like, by now, you haven't been through how many other experiences? Bro. I mean, I, I'm scared of niggas who can't uh, accept rejection. That's that's the that's the scary shit. Yeah, a true. motherfucker that can't accept rejection is bound to do some fucked up shit to somebody. And he not only said she was messed up, he threw everybody in. Did you hear that? When he was like, the world or whatever, or everybody's just so messed up. Nobody cares for me. Nobody. What does that have to do with homegirls standing you up? Right, right. That's right. that's sad. Guys like that will hurt somebody. <laughs> they can't hurt you just like like Thank they you, like they Smith. can't hurt a man because yeah. you know what I'm saying. They walk up on a man, they gonna get Mortal Kombat, and it's gonna be. What it is, but I'm saying like guys like that will sneak you. That nigga I got was the best. You know what? I can't. <laughs> I, I can't. They were like, <laughs> what do he say when he put it in there? Look like me. <laughs> oh, she, probably, <laughs> she probably was on Facetime yeah. and seen that eye wandering. Was like, nah, I ain't. I can't. Yeah. I can't deal with this. Shit. I want to let dude know if you watching this, man. Listen, you are mentally destroyed. Uh -huh. yeah. Go get some help. You need to not be in public with the rest of us. Something wrong with you if you're crying on a video for the world to see and you groan. Right when, 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 when people see you cry, they're supposed to know something wrong. Yeah. 
When, 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 when you cry, it's because, oh my God, something got to him. It, it's 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 something very emotional. It should be something. If you cry all the time as a man, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's, it's I don't know what makes a man cry all the time. Like somebody say, well, when are you supposed to cry? Or when are you supposed to just, you're just supposed to hold it in forever. I'm not saying you're supposed to hold it in forever, but what I'm saying is you crying because a girl stood you up and you look like you need the money. That girl did you a favor. What if he had to pay for the date? She wasn't going to give you none, dude. That's real shit. Huh. Men are only supposed to cry when something's inside of them. <laughs> oh, Lord. Or they're inside of something. Like a else. shot or yeah, something, right? So you get shot. Uh -huh. like anytime some foreign object enters your body, that's a code for a man to cry. You that's know that's real, Craig. That's the only time. Ain't nothing supposed to go in you as a man. Ain't <laughs> nothing. I, I just think it's ridiculous. Except knowledge, nigga. <laughs> what about a tongue in your head? <laughs> <laughs> there's different types yeah, of tongues. I know you don't stop yeah, it, Craig. But there's different <laughs> you light skin. I didn't have a tongue in my ass before. <laughs> there's different types of cries, though, too. There's cries for joy. Cry. Yeah. I cry. And when I laugh so hard, I can't even help it. It just like yeah. it just seeps no out. No man should ever feel, lots of types. feel bad about being rejected by a woman at all. Any man can get a bitch. Oh, here we go. Any man in the world can get a woman. Not that nigga. She, Thank you. Man, if that nigga had not, paper, yeah. paper, but he'll yeah. get a bitch. He can go uh, overseas and get a bitch. The passport brother. He can be a passport brother. They don't give a fuck what you look like. You talking about buying Any, pussy? Yeah, you can buy a bitch. Somebody buying else is a tyrant crier. Huh? Yeah. Buying pussy is Man, not at the end of the day, the nigga wants some pussy. You say buying a day ain't what? Buying it, but, pussy is not getting a woman. It's, it's paying for pussy. That's right. That but that's what he wants. That is a great debate question. Yeah. What you just said. Are you saying buying pussy is not getting a woman? No, no it's that's not. just it's having not. some sex. You're paying for sex. Yeah, get, you, uh, getting a woman you is having a woman. Her up. Yeah, you subject <laughs> to your will. So what Maybe. if you got a woman and you've been buying pussy from her for five years? <laughs> <laughs> Are you finna tell me you still ain't got the bitch? No, nah, it's because no, as soon as you, you stop buying pussy, you can go to the next nigga. You can literally buy a bitch life. She is. You can you can literally purchase a bitch. Craig, uh -huh. do you think paying for a bitch is different than being in a relationship with yes. a bitch where you think you're not paying for the bitch? I'm asking I, you. I do think it's a little bit different. One yeah. may take a bullet for you and the other It's a little bit different because when you just yeah. buying a, a bitch, it's, it's different. There's no strings attached. You feel what I'm saying? But what if you buy a bitch and she have a baby by you? I mean, most relationships are transactional. What's the difference between a bitch that's pregnant by you that you bought or that you thought you had you motherfucking because relationship with? Because the bitch with? that's pregnant by you can actually affect your life in a negative way. That's what I'm just saying to you. All yeah. bitches who pregnant in America are a detriment to people who are trying to do things. That's real. That's, real. that's why other animals oh. tuck them off somewhere. Animals yeah. kill the baby boys. Yeah. Because they don't want to get flooded later on by the most. This is a toxic word, stepkids. Right. Stepkids is a toxic word. And the reason I say stepkids is a toxic word, it's a trick word. They want to find a way to justify the life of the kids that the woman come with. Hmm. That makes it a toxic word when you say, oh, this is my stepdaughter. That's yeah. not your stepdaughter. Uh, right. That's as, more pussy in the house you really can't fuck with. Yeah. That's, that's my husband's daughter. That's my husband's daughter. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what a stepdaughter is. It's, yeah. There's more pussy in the house. You, you're not, you're not, a society say you Here can't touch. Go. I Here think they go. say it to humanize the baby because they know at the end of the day, there's no way that any man could really care about a child that's not his. Damn. So they got to put stepchild in there because it's just like- Do you like, believe that for real? I think so. I think words are symbols. Everybody's you know mean, what I'm saying? I mean, words are oh, symbols. Say that's so, not part of his family because I got, you know- No, no, they give a fuck about- nephew, no, don't, yeah. don't nobody really give a fuck about a child that ain't theirs, like for real. You come down to it? At the it's end deep what you're say saying, Craig. Yeah. Now yeah. people would say I, you don't know what you're talking about, that. but I'm telling you, stepkids- are fake friends. Because <laughs> you fell in love with their mom. They just collateral. Yeah. Like it just came along with the with the with the with Stepkids the is like chicken at McDonald's. You know it ain't real, but you yeah. still eat it because it's fried. Hell yeah. If you go to a stepkid funeral, wouldn't nobody trip if you didn't cry. They played with it. Oh, gee, now, that's going anyway. a bit far now. You know, you know, well, now, 
<laughs> stepkids with bad <laughs> report really cards are expected. <laughs> Nobody really wants you. You a stepchild? What are you doing good in school for? Your depression is gonna stop that's you at any job. All that's why everybody messed up. Damn, everybody out there, somebody say this. That's yeah. why the world is all jacked up. Yeah. yeah. That's why people argue with men about if they're a woman because they step kids. Yeah, step, yeah. All the people arguing with men about they should do a study on this. Yeah, but they have about the men too. So it's like it's a lot of everybody on all right. the side. I'm saying step kids yeah, are step kids, like, man. They yeah. they they just people that came with the pussy that you got. Yeah. And they That's, know it. Kids know it. I want to ask you this. He's a step kid for sure. <laughs> Can we get him yeah. off the screen? <laughs> why is he God there? Damn. Uh, what we got to yeah, do to get this? Still, Thank you. That's what they, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What I mean, like that motherfucker got that much that time. We just wanted to show him. Well, anyway. I want to ask. Go you ahead, Mom. Thank God you didn't so, get his handle. Let me ask you this. If, if, you, if, uh, if initially the relationship was transactional, like he was paying for, you know what I'm saying, taking care of or whatever, you don't think she could grow to love him? Grow to love this the who the, the dude who's taking care of her like that, or it's like spent basically a tri- her trick. No, nah, I don't think so. It's conditional. Man. Yeah, it's conditional love. You know, you gonna keep going to a store if they don't sell your favorite cereal? Hell no, nah, nigga. I'm near. For, I'm here for kids. You should act, I think if you, you be a, I think yeah, I, I think women kick. move based on emotion. I think like eventually. It, she started seeing him, seeing him in a different light. Sometimes, you know, in America, sometimes it's, it's uh, in America, ways. the way we get women. I can see people mm-hmm. not understand it, but there are a lot of countries where you don't have no bitch who don't know her place right. out of place around you. And most people buy their fucking wife, and then the wife get to know them. Right, and, and that's they what build I'm a family. About. And she be like, you know, it's all right here because he takes care of me good and all like yeah. that. And yeah. If you if you try to if you try to bump a girl. I, I, see, it's really, I want to say something. It's really deep right here. D, you want to say what you no, want to say? No, go ahead. I don't want to throw you off. This is what I'm trying to say. And I, I, I this is my version of some cold-ass game I heard. I can't take credit for this, but I've said this, but I'm saying it my way. I heard a dude say it, so I'm going to say it my way. Most of these relationships are basically... You trying to get the best of it till it's over. You can't grab a damaged woman and do nothing with her but just go for the ride till it's over and try to jump off without all the damage to you. Right. So right. I'm saying, like, whether you bought her, whether you met her by talking to her, whatever, you can't go into nothing with no woman that you see is damaged and expect to keep it forever. I agree. It, there's an expiration date on that woman that you're trying to cuff and keep and get her to be, to get along with you. See, like, I'm older, so I know this. It's just a matter of time for one day you'll be like, I wasted so much time with that crazy bitch. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you get older, you'll be so mad. You'll be like, I knew this the whole time. Yeah. Now that's sad if you knew it the whole time. I mean, can we be honest? Our relationships are conditional anyway. I don't think When so. you say that, what do you mean, Marcus? Shit, a woman will leave you, like, at the everyone end of the day, really everyone does. has, wow, has some, everyone has a standard, right? And and they will leave you with when you break that standard. Well, if you don't know that person and you, you do some heavy-duty things with them over a certain amount of time, that's your fault. You didn't see certain, because you can see signs when somebody's crazy. Now, if you want to do a hell of a test, and you down with somebody, and you think, okay, this one's pretty solid. I'm gonna see. Act like you get really Everyone sick, or you broke. Everyone will leave over something, D. Well, then, what I'm then, to then act like you get what, D. Act, act like you got really sick, or you, or you seriously broke, and see what happens. See what happens. But I'm saying everyone will leave over something. Well, you, something and you, and you that's a breaking out. point for everybody. Right, and you'll find that's, out. That's, Those that's are usually the but two biggest people, things. But there are people who that stay affect relationships. Despite, though, that's what you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm saying like. A man if you didn't build ain't together, really I'm saying. built to get rid of a woman he put a lot of effort into. Right. Most of the time, the woman stayed till it's played out to her, and she leave. That's, that's what happens in America. Like, first of all, to marry a woman that was born in America, it's got to be the most dumbest shit that an intelligent person could do. When I say an intelligent person, I'm talking about a man who is over 40, who has seen redundant failure in women where you can't even have a conversation without being disrespected. 
Some girl I was talking to was talking disrespectful to me. And I told her, I was like, you can't tell me shit like that. What the bitch said, here's what the bitch said. I know you was out fucking bitches this weekend. Oh. And I was like, you can't talk to me like that. She what did. the fuck is wrong it, it with you? Came out. It you, came can't, out. you can't even That's say crazy. that to me. Because the bitch are always talking about, why you don't take me nowhere? I'm like, uh. you a disrespectful bitch. <laughs> I can't be out with you, bitch. You are for fucking. Fucking is great. Other than that, I can't imagine a purpose you serve. That's you gotta true. be watch out for those though. Now, see, when they start talking and acting like that, baby, watch out. A girl out. don't even realize she disrespecting you by saying, what, you was out fucking bitches all yeah. week? Man. It's like, <laughs> when you let them get away with that without telling them what's up, it's not, she don't even realize that she's disrespectful after a while. Right. She right. just naturally talks to you like that. Right, but right. it should never happen again. In other, mean, words, in other words, why hold on to somebody like that? You're really asking for some drama. That when they start Darlene, reacting like that. Darlene. Can I tell you something? That, that seems that I know some, you don't know. That thing seems like something that's about to get Some of these out bitches of will suck a dick for a solid hour. Well, okay, so then but here's my thing. You telling me that bitch ain't worth nothing. Wait though, wait, anytime the there's time. wait a second, anytime there's something that you really like, <laughs> but yet you will complain about it in the fact that doesn't that's make ridiculous any sense. Logic, dude. That doesn't make first any of all, sense. No. Some women, I wouldn't stay in a relationship. See, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it to a dude. All, I'm not gonna all, complain. First of all, some women don't even know it's disrespect because a nigga never taught them anything. Okay. Right. So, oh, so, so you're gonna check you, her, and then you think she's you never gonna her, do it that again. That might be the first time she ever been checked. She and might you not think know, she's not gonna act like that again. She might, she might oh, not, okay. because she never knew it was a problem. Because no nigga ever told her it was a problem. Good so when she that. finds out that it's a problem that she don't like, that you don't like, then she'd be like, okay, oh. you don't like that. Fuck it. I, I will it again. Diva, let me tell you something. Or she'll go. We Can I tell you something? Other. That's all possible. When you having a conversation with somebody about what, like, like we talking about a bitch ain't shit. The answer to the problem ain't always, well, the dude ain't shit for fucking with her. Right. No, I'm saying, like, no, I've had bitches that it. I had patience with because they may do something that serves me in a way where I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to step into the gates of hell just to get this out the bitch. Right, so you, you play, it with, play it with fire. So when something does happen, and then it'd be like, you hear what happened to Corey? How can anyone feel bad? What what you're asking for? You said, how can you're, anybody feel bad, right? Yeah, you're basically asking for well, it. Well, if you yes, have limited interaction like, he with said, him. He said he'd rather take Darlene, that. Darlene, do you know one sane bitch in the whole world? That's what I'm trying I, to tell I, you. I, no, I don't. If, whatever, Please don't say yourself, no. Darlene. Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. I've learned my lesson with you guys. In other words, whatever you say, you guys are going to, oh, that's bullshit. That's crazy. So uh, sometimes I just go, eh. It's not even worth it. I asked you a it's question you couldn't it. answer, D. I can, and it's but not you guys, nothing that no, you, because no, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's not embarrassment. You grew up in it's America. a waste of time. It's not embarrassment. It's a waste of time because you guys are set in your minds. You anyway. act like someone with everybody else. You but I'm do. Saying, you do too. I so, just asked you a question, and if I and said, I don't think it was a if, hard and question. And if I said myself, you'd be like, oh, you would make some big old two do. Do you really think you are close to saying? I would too, D. I sure do. I sure do. Compared to a lot of the women that I know. Yeah, see, there you go. Told you. Told you. <laughs> That's why sometimes when people go, oh, say this to him. Argue this with him. Why? It's a this waste of time. This is how I can prove to you, darling. It's a, wa you it's a waste of time. I want, you, I want you to time. land. Don't try to go along with him, Marcus. It's kind of late he for that. He's not going along yeah, with me for does. that reason. He's going to try. But I want you to land because I want to tell you something, D. He'll try. Thank you, Steve. D. C. I honestly think you are a beautiful woman. Here we go. But when I see girls who are beautiful <laughs> oh God. and lonely, I know why. That's your take. You think. He wants people to be in his realm so bad. You ever heard that saying, miserable people want company? Do you do your company? dudes like this? Like miserable people talk. want company? Yeah. You always, That's him. You, you always got to rebuttal to everything That's they him. say? We're on what if God we're, blessed her with being Marcus? We're on a show, silly. Can you imagine if Give me D a break? That doesn't even now that don't make sense. I just asked him a question. That I just asked you, do we're you do it? What if God about, took D voice away? Wouldn't topics. she be like the perfect girl? Oh, bro, now, any but woman would be the perfect girl to you if she couldn't speak. You've already said that. So. Oh my God, D, that voice is destroying you. <laughs> and you, if we just heard your voice but didn't see you, <laughs> how about that? 
How about that? <laughs> you, you do say I got a voice like a nigga in the cave, Corey. Do I? Like yeah. <laughs> like Somebody the out there. Hey, if you come in there, I'm going to eat you. Babies. I want I want to ask you a question, babies. Marcus. Marcus, uh, I got a question for you, and I hope all y'all chime in on this. Oh, yeah. here we go. Let's go. I want to ask Marcus a question. <laughs> Why, in most relationships in America, is the bitch in charge? Can you please tell me that, Marcus? Is that the truth? Really? Yeah. In most relationships, the bitch is in charge. Oh, can you te tell me, me why? Yeah, enlighten me. <laughs> they humble. The, they humble. Bitch, I didn't bitches, know that. Bitches humble niggas That's with me. with pussy. Niggas afraid to stop getting pussy for, consistently. Like if you had <laughs> the real talk, you, you she can literally hold pussy as Thanks, leverage AGP. over his head <laughs> and get him to do what he want to. If he ain't no nigga that's used to getting pussy for sure. It seems right. like that's all y'all talking Craig. about. Craig. <laughs> it seems like. Craig, can you please help me? Yeah. Why do bitches run relationships in America? I think it's because. <laughs> uh, that's just so funny to me. Niggas. Kind of what Marcus said, but I think. Huh. I, I, I think it's because a lot of motherfuckers was raised by their mom, so they think. What dudes say in the green? I'm listening. I think a lot of dudes was raised by, the, by their mothers and is, was used to seeing their mothers in control. So they just kind of feel like, hey, it's easier to let her do it. And then I just back clean up and fi you know, fix any problems or, you know, I just let her do it just to avoid. Con niggas are avoiding conflict. Because, yeah, niggas are avoiding conflict. Niggas are avoiding conflict. Uh -huh. I mean, that's the reason, though. That's, that'd be the main reason why they avoid conflict. Because at the end of the day, a nigga don't want to be without. Okay. When it comes to that, you know what I mean. Darling, you got an answer for this? What'd you say? Repeat. Here's the so question. I'm still sending Darlene. pictures tonight. Also. It's okay. Here's what? the question. Why do you think bitches are in charge of most relationships? Well, there you go. I can't even because I—that's new to me. I didn't know that. I mean, I—I I don't want to be in charge of one, and I have never been in charge of one. So. Here we go. Uh oh, see, you can't. Whatever I, he's gonna always. Well, if take, this is true in relationships, he's always gonna take what, whatever he wants say, and spin it. It's fine. Okay, let's it's say fine. this is true in relationships. I think he's. Hating. What reason would you be? Would would you think that women would be in charge in those situations? Maybe he's either too busy, he's not paying attention, or whatever. And it also depends on how deep the relationship is. Is it heavy? Do you guys have homes, children? How deep is it? Or y'all just fucking? That's different. And that's the case. Uh, how, who's, in, who's in charge? If y'all just meeting up to, to screw. I'm finna what, give what it that? to you. I'm finna give it to oh, you. Oh, here we in go. The wrong. Here goes. Here's what it really is. Oh, yeah. You see, <laughs> women Check, stop. who ain't got a man is built to lose. They're built to lose without their leadership with them through life. So, because women run to the devil, because like Marcus said, when they go back in the house, go man. Got the soldier with him. What up, baby? Respect, y'all. Got my favorite, that Sergio on Rocket. He brought me and Joe Green with him. That's a big ass <laughs> nigga, man. I can't <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah. Respect, baby. Lights, yeah. lights yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you. You also that nigga Matt was a little more than two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit the little white when he hit the mic. That's him. That's oh, right. Okay. <laughs> go, yeah. Mac, go Mac be at that DXL don't nobody know about. Yeah. He got all the fresh shit on for Big Nick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's that shy. They he don't said I got on the Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He trying. They no, trying. No, I, I, I lost my track. Cause go, go ahead, back. Yeah. We can't. We gotta fucking Sorry. go back in time. Go back. Come in this motherfucker. <laughs> but look, this the deep shit. And I wish women would listen to this and realize. Marcus made a point. He said, "The wicked enemy goes after the weak and gives them power." Women have the power to destroy you, and it was given by the people who want you destroyed. Hmm. 
So men wind up falling for a woman and had a heart in hijack mode for most of their life because they're afraid to tell this woman, bitch, you can't play me like that. That's what happens because men are born, are brought up by their mama, and they don't have the courage they need to look the enemy. Because the enemy might be a motherfucker you love. That's to look the enemy in the eye and say, bitch, you could never play me like I'm a cake-ass nigga. Cowardly men kind of sound like it's getting who's been brought up by their mamas have let women take control of relationships. Therefore, we are a society fuck because the bitches run it. Look what's happening. Kids killing each other. Look at the statistics what happened in these big cities every weekend. It ain't just motherfucking niggas on the street getting shot. Babies get killed. Grandmamas get killed. Because it's a society the bitches are in charge of. Yeah. Ain't no motherfucker saying, bitch, if you don't get in your place... Because they know they'll be put out the house. Motherfuckers scared to be out here in the streets on they man. they rather stay at the house and be a bitch with they bitch. Never me. <laughs> I've been through them years, though. I've been through them years. I ain't never saying I ain't been through them years. But I will never let a bitch run my ship. Because I know it'll be bitch ran. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> yeah, nigga. Yeah. Niggas, I mean, niggas have lived their whole life. Everything we do at the end, the end goal is to get pussy, if you think about it. Yeah. Say that again. And how long does that last? The like, end goal. Like your that's, life. That's, last that's, you guys that's didn't answer that question. That's literally our whole life. Oh, that's just, so all this behavior, like, like this is it. Not our whole life, Marcus. I go to the there improv so on Monday it. nights, and I ain't going to lie. I go up there to trip out. So all this shit I'm you guys saying, talk, so when does goal. it end? No, ultimate. I'm not trying to offset what you're yeah, saying because yeah. what you're saying is right to a certain extent. Yeah. But as you get older, bitches are not the priority no more. Man, mm. talk about it. Hello? Oh, my God. As you get older, you really get to see, like, Cardi B. I ain't shitting on. First of all, her husband. Yeah. Offset. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed when he talks, he speaks... Like he got some sense. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that about him? Mm -hmm. Right now, he's at a stage where he's around a girl who holds the chain. Mm -hmm. The stuff she say about him, like she is his father. One day I heard her talking about, I mean, if I leave him, I'm just going to get another boss ass nigga who mother who who who. I'm saying like, I'm not trying to come between their marriage, but I watch people, you know what I'm saying, when they talk. Yeah. I'm like, this dude actually looked like he got some sense. Yeah. He going through a stage right now where he trying to make the best of some damage shit. Mm -hmm. And I think it's Eventually, rough. Eventually, like, both he's alike. not going to be in that situation because I see it in him. I'm like, that motherfucker, when he opened his mouth, he don't just say stupid shit all the time. And yeah. it seems pretty collective. I use him as an example because they famous. You right. get what I'm saying? It's ultra tough. So I'm like, man, that man ain't finna be out here with no motherfucker throwing mics in the crowd, giving away money. You know, the problem, <laughs> the, the, the problem is... Well, see, that's what she that's... did. She gave away the church's money. Yeah. I'm talking about Cardi B, if you saw this weekend. She was saying she needs some water on her leg Ford or some shit. Right. Yeah, and, and then when they made a mistake and threw it too high, later. she threw the yeah. mic. I'm like, you throwing away the church money. Yeah, don't get sued. By yeah, because your tolerance get lower when you get older, too. Marcus, mm -hmm. and if there's one thing you I learning. can tell you as you a learned. dude who got you by uh, almost 20 years, Woo. when you get older, right. dog, you are not going to let no bitch be talking crazy to you. You're yeah. just going to be like, bitch, if you lost your mind, I don't care who the bitch is, what you got invested into the bitch, before you let a bitch talk crazy to you, you're going to get the fuck away from her. Unless you get trained long enough, like some niggas in marriages, yeah. they train along, the, you know, the happy wife, happy life shit. And y'all you know keep I mean? that one. You'll keep mm. that one near Can you. Can you imagine? Huh? You the, ones that, the ones that want to listen, the ones that want to go along with your program, you'll keep that one. Can you imagine you. how much hell on said, earth must be <laughs> if you let a woman <laughs> okay, talk crazy to you and you just put your tail between your legs? Oh, man. 
Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine what kind of hell on earth you have? You cre- or you create right. by doing that. If you want, you I'm want like, yo, man, so it bad. ain't no way in the world. I'm finna motherfucker spend the rest of my time on this planet. Listen to a bitch talk shit to me. That's mm-hmm. real. <laughs> it's hey. I, I would never be in a situation like that again. Uh, yeah. But, nah. but I was I was speaking this coming up. You know what I mean? Like majority of men, everything they do is based around. Getting coochie, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas going to the club, throw money. That, that don't even make sense. There's, there's no point to going in the, in a strip club to just throw money. Then they, they buy cars to impress bitches. Everything they do is based around the end goal to get pussy. And it should be what? part of a right. book called yeah, Weak Nigga Protocol. Mm-hmm. See, weak niggas like the fact that um, they say they can clone music now. What do they call it? AI yeah. music? Right, mm-hmm. right. Niggas who ain't creative think that that's, that's the, the end all be all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But creative niggas know that computer could never think like I think. That computer, look, even if they start cloning comedy, it ain't a computer out here can do this like me, homie. It ain't but one Corey, soul given by Almighty up top. It ain't no motherfucking cloning Corey Holcomb. Even if you got a clone down here mimicking Corey Holcomb, he ain't finna come up this motherfucking shit like I'm coming up with. Yeah, you can't just on a cuff. That's what happened. You can try to AI Corey Holcomb if you want to, goddammit. They clone Corey Holcomb. (laughs) It ain't gonna be the same thing. It's not. I think a lot of men suffer from the illusionary truth effect. What is that called? That's uh, the illusionary illusionary truth truth effect. it's just uh, falsehoods that are reiterated by things that prove it to the person who believes the falsehood. So a lot of times when you're a bitch ass nigga and you, you follow this, this pattern, this migration pattern of getting to peace or getting to a place where you could tolerate the world. And as long as you can follow that pattern emotionally or even physically walk there, you don't feel like shit is wrong because ain't nothing stopping you from going in the direction you want to go in. A lot of times it takes like a, hearing a nigga like you or, or like you hearing Farrakhan to, to break you off of that, that pattern or, or that, you know, that of getting to where, where, wherever your piece is or wherever you get a, a, you know, some sense of uh, comfortability, you know mm. what I mean? Well, when you are speaking good energy into the people, when you are speaking information that can say to people, they cut you off the internet. Yeah, they you cut can't you off have the choices anymore. You can't have options anymore. And before they cut you off, they always get threatening notices in the motherfucking email about cutting you off. Yeah. I want to see how many, man, these motherfuckers, they going to snatch me off this motherfucker one day. I ain't doing nothing but cracking jokes and telling the word of God. Uh-huh. <laughs> you better stop. What? I'm just saying. <laughs> I know, I Shit, I, this is church. <laughs> this ain't no motherfucking. I don't know. Everybody think churches when you go somewhere with old bitches and old dudes and suits. You know, there's different types of churches. Yeah. Humming and motherfucking. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is church. This is church. We are men, women getting together, talking about the gospel. I'm not talking about the gospel that you thought was the gospel. I'm talking about the gospel that is the gospel. Because I have people walk up to me all the time and tell me how I saved them. And you know what? It ain't because I'm speaking scriptures out of a Bible. It's because there's a man right now who's going through some shit with a bitch that ain't never treated him right. The guy on the video. (laughs) He's watching this show right now, and he's getting the courage to handle what he's got to handle because he see we all go through it. I see. I just just got through telling you. I go through it. I just seen a nigga in my head, his, his... He making a fist as he listened to you talk. <laughs> <laughs> and he just hit his bitch, he knocked her oh out about No, I hear what you're saying because there's there's so many people out there, guys and girls, that don't have anybody to look up to. Yeah. They just uh, they're just not getting the right information. Yeah. And it's all twisted out there. Oh, they, messed oh, up. they have fucked up people to look up to. That's what I'm saying, and that's all they got. So if they run across somebody and they're like, Oh shit, this sounds about right. Yeah, that's alarming. Any man that is with a woman that's trying to lead him, she doesn't really understand danger. This is a this is a, a bitch on a what do they call it on a kamikaze mission. There's no way you can conquer the world as a woman leading the man. And by yourself, man. You, right? It never happened. Yeah. Every yeah. once in a while, you see a woman that didn't run into a brick wall at 100 miles per hour. Yeah. Every once in a while, you be like, 
Wow, I'm very impressed with you. Let me tell you something, man. I done met a motherfucking woman whose shit was so together. I said, how the fuck did you get it together like this? Because I was curious. Yeah. She told me some dude helped her get it together mentally. Do you know what I did? You broke her. Oh, God dang it. Gore. I, I mean, called Craig. that nigga. told him appreciate it. Is that right? I said, man, I don't know what you did, but this is amazing. Yeah. And then the man got to telling me, oh, yeah, you don't know, man. I had to teach her about this, that, and that, and that, that, that. And I just was like, wow, you know what? This man probably will never get the credit he deserved for being able to reach people. Yeah. But I don't have that insecure shit that goes on with men that was with the bro before I was. Now, I would be insecure if a bitch was fucking with a nigga while she with me, because that's reason to be insecure. Yeah. Oh, but everything wow. that happened before, dog, that was experiences that really supposed to lead her to you when she ready for you to care on, all right? You been through that? Are you ready for something different? You got to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. I got this speech for him, because it's real. You got to listen to what I tell you. Don't talk to your kids no more. So I was about to say, what they part of your past. Go. They don't Here respect you. Here we go. I know you love them, but they not going to be good Ooh. around us. Oh, no. Don't. <laughs> your son challenged me. I ain't going to do nothing but stomp his ears together. I knew it. I knew it was coming. You got to come with me. Came with, came Follow with me. me, 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 me. Came with the twist, baby boy. What? It's real shit. Baby God boy. damn it, Darlene. That sound funny to you, don't it? Yeah. I know it do. God damn it. A lot of these lost women out here who motherfucking live in a world of ass kicking agony think Corey Holcomb ain't talking about shit. But I'm telling you, all the women in the world is listening. I've never get said Get you everything. a real motherfucker and get behind them. Not no cake ass motherfucker that do shit that you can't respect. If, if you get, get you a real him, motherfucker and get behind him. Get behind him and her and her and her and her. Ladies, if you get behind him and he pull his pants down, that ain't the nigga you want to be with. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say, Chris? I said, ladies, if you get behind him and he pull his pants down, that ain't the nigga you want to be with. <laughs> You're so stupid. I swear everything has to come with you. Oh, I can't, but that's good. If that we nigga take laugh. real hot baths, don't <laughs> fuck with that nigga. If he washes... Any nigga who take real hot baths... <laughs> That nigga got back Dory. If he did, if he did. <laughs> oh, I don't want to say it. Then I thought I thought we were talking about you. Is it what? D, no, you can say no, it. No, I thought I we were talking about you, back. you, silly. Oh, okay. I got I got jokes. I was gonna say any man that washes his. What'd you say? Some one time you said you dipped your balls in like hot running water or something, or what'd you do? No, I said, I think you're talking about, I think all men should try this. Try this go. tonight. <laughs> if you masturbate. Masturbate in front of the sink. While you're nutting, pour real warm water on your dick here while you're nutting. It is the most incredible feeling. You'll be like, this motherfucker, this shit is real. We need to give a medical disclaimer. <laughs> like, medical I used disclaimer. Come, I used to yeah. jack off a lot yeah. when I was a little bust ass nigga. Yeah. Yeah, you still, oh, we all jack off. That never <laughs> stopped. That nigga came over with this. Oh, hey, but I'm going to tell you what worked. Too though. I'll have the water in a cup while I'm nutting. I pour it on my dick. Any what? bitch call you after that, you'll be like, bitch, I don't need your motherfucking mm. ass. <laughs> <laughs> shit, if you just stick your dick head under the running water while you be it off. Might, it might do that. That shit's crazy, oh, too. Both, oh, both, all you guys. Be, oh. This nigga talking about, he, he jacked off with a microwave. Or, you know, you talking about a microwave with a uh, oh, towel or some shit? Oh, yeah. Put I think it, everybody yeah, gets experimental. <laughs> you, niggas, you niggas, you niggas, hey. <laughs> niggas hey. that's how I know you niggas too freaky. And they talk you about you from the country. Yeah, I'm talking about, I'm a regular nigga. What's a regular nigga? Nigga, tell me. Look, I do oh, normal. Nigga. Give me a little, little baby pig oil gel. A baby oil gel. Use a sock to clean yeah. up. And, or and, and, gel, and nigga. Oil gel. Oh, this nigga. <laughs> this nigga said or gel. Baby man. oil gel and a, and a porno. And we right here. I'm basic. You know what I'm saying? You still got porno. That's back it. Here. That's all I need. That's all you did? That's all and I nigga, need. You, you all missed wanna, out. That's how you know Morgan. you. Y'all niggas, <laughs> niggas too sexually uh, open. That's why y'all be getting your ass ate and all that old shit. Y'all be wanting to too much. 
Marcus you don't Jack do on. nothing freaky, right? Huh? That nigga Jack huh? on. He said. No, not good. <laughs> y'all want to explore y'all's sexual. Y'all, y'all too far. What's y'all go too with far this with the sexual. That nigga Marcus uh, Jack on. Marcus. Marcus Jack on. You don't do nothing freaky? I'm an old school nigga, Cole. Wait, what does that entail? That's just basic. You don't do nothing freaky? Compared to what you call freaky, no something. I don't understand what your freaky is better. Marcus Jack off with a dead football. Doggy style. That's the most freaky. With Marcus. A flat football. Just go ahead. He be trying to rub his dick on his chin skin so he <laughs> ribbed and shit. What? Yeah, and then and go in the barn and listen to the pigs fighting Jack up. Oh, that nigga oh pull his arm, his wet arm all the way down yeah. there and just be hitting his dick like he had a pussy. And then got to get on the back of a horse to Jack up. <laughs> and then Jack off a creatine powder and walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somebody and then put on somebody said he Marcus, his I just want you to know, like, do you eat pussy? Huh? You, huh? Yeah. That boy, that boy got that hunt out back. You just started eating pussy. Wow, whoa. That's crazy. I was late. I was late to the party. That nigga put on he westerns and jacked off. He's scared. The homie Sam used to say he on. <laughs> Sam used to say he on eat pussy. Boy, I used to Told be broke. Told you last yeah. week that a lot yeah. of the girls used to tell yeah, me. See, that I don't want to go too far. Too far. I don't never want to be. You know, as long as I can get that gold nut up by me, I'm good. I don't need all oh, the so extra. No once you, once you get to a point where you you ain't satisfied with just a nut, you want to get the extra. But no too much. Uh, There's something going wrong. So you I'm don't want to pleasure her, yeah, huh? Yeah, no, uh, that ain't got. I'm talking about. We was just talking about jacking off. Uh, what you talking right. about? I said, pour uh, some warm water on your dick next uh, time you jack off, nigga. That nigga Marcus jack off with his forearms and. <laughs> A marker is the same. That nigga don't go up and down. He just turning left to right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it look like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna break. You know you can break it. You know you can break it. You can actually fracture. Guys it. never know they can break it. <laughs> you, you can fracture. You know you can break your dick, right? You know that, right? Uh, no. yes. Yeah, it can you can break your dick. Can yeah, you broken. can. Yes, you sure can. Nigga Jack, I'm a cooking oil. You, you sure I can. have. I oh, oh, oh. We already know that. He didn't. Yeah, nigga, I ain't got no shame. I jacked off. That nigga be frying his dick. He be trying that cheap one, two, three oil. You see that one, two, three oil? Like I had a dry pussy, bitch. I put setting lotion on the pussy. Wait a second. Curl setting lotion? Yeah. When I was a young oh. nigga. See, when you young, oh, so you your dick just be hard it. all day. So you could just you don't give yeah. you just need something to break through with the bitches who pussy don't get wet. Right. I'd rather you said you lard like, than hair <laughs> sitting jail. Oh yeah. my god. What's the sound when you just break through some pussy like <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Is it that right the sound? Yeah, Going yeah. by itself, spitting on his dick. <laughs> hey, Marcus, I don't jag off don't with work. my spit. <laughs> 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 my dick don't get hard with my spit. Yeah. Mark, Mark if your, if your dick get hard when you spit on it, you gay, bro. <laughs> Yeah, my, That's it. Uh, Marcus called a sheriff to help him jack off. <laughs> Marcus, I just thought about something. You or Chad probably can't even jack off at the sink. And get the yeah. water on you yeah. That nigga jack off the pictures of LA Fitness. You know? uh, that's right. <laughs> I'm going there tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you got to hear Carl Winslow's voice to get hard. Nigga. Nigga turn on Family Matters and jack off. Well, that's fucked up. Uh. Um. But yeah, y'all motherfuckers, man. Let me tell y'all motherfuckers something, man. When you finally get the courage of a lion, goddammit, it, you, you won't be game. led by nobody. But you will have a wise woman around you so that when she talk, you'll listen to her. Not, it won't be forced listen. It'll be like, when she talk, your body will naturally be like, what's up, what you say? <laughs> But when you got a bitch that ain't wise around, you be like, bitch, what the fuck you want? Oh, my God, this guy. <laughs> this is what happened when you got a woman that ain't wise around you. Yeah. Every time she talk, you cringe inside. Your heart is dying. You going away from the earth quicker. <laughs> if you're a man who demands respect, a woman will adjust. What? If yeah. you're a man who demands... Who's some bitches out here tell you to kiss your ex? No, These hoes will leave their family before they give you the authority yeah. you're supposed to have as a man. So you're saying, saying you do I'm that. Saying you're... You're... I'm saying you will find women. If you're if you just a man who demands respect, you'll find women that are just. 
Right? Really? It's some bitch. Hell yeah. So you taking the chance you and you reading them out. You found bitches that are adjust. So you, you it's some bitches that respect niggas like that. But like, do you oh, do I'm right saying you made, a, you made a bitch and she already disrespectful. I ain't talking. I'm talking uh. about. I ain't talking about any bitch. I'm talking yeah. about you'll run a, you'll you'll run across bitches like that. This no, you your won't. energy you give out, <laughs> shit. No, oh. you won't. Shit. Man, if you Martin. turn it if you turn it down the motherfucking wrong ones, you gonna get to the right ones. I'm telling you. No, you won't. I'm telling you. This America. Ain't you. no right bitches out here. It's about 45, 50 right this bitches America. in this motherfucker. And if you get one, that's beyond luck. Well, he's yeah. traced. Tra- the odds don't say you're going to be with a bitch that's going to do right by you. That's he's right. testing that. He, hmm? He's testing it, right? That's what you're saying, that you're weeding them out. You, yeah, you, you doing your thing. Out. A bitch is stop fucking with you. Go fuck with the other nigga around the block. Get jumped on, ass whoop, everything. And then when you take her back, that bitch actually think you forgot what she did. She yeah. don't realize you took her back because you using her for what she worth. Yeah. Niggas is treacherous too. You ain't got no business fucking with no bitch that ain't shit. But niggas fuck with bitches that ain't shit because they use them on the hobby side of the game. Yeah, Most man. bitches should have hobby tattooed somewhere on their body. Yeah. I'm a hobby. <laughs> Something to play with on their body. Bitches right. fuck niggas to get back at niggas. Think about how weird that is. You 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 gonna punish me by pleasuring yourself, bitch? What the fuck? Yeah, cause cause niggas, we just gonna do it just to do it. Yeah, just cause a bitch been to get us buzzed. We ain't doing it under no revenge plot. Bitch, a risk of uh, STD to try to hurt you. Well, this what this what the people who in charge of this country know. It's all gonna wind up in our courthouse. Yeah, Uh, we gonna ruin you. Where you basically out here handicapped financially because. We got the laws set up where family is going to be disrupted, where it can never be nothing that's successful. That's why everybody out here trying to make the best out of something that's awful. That's why motherfuckers out here ready to kill a motherfucker because... You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they mama getting fucked by the nigga and the motherfucker running through your mama. That's why bitches out here motherfucking looking at their father get ran over by a bitch that's moving him around from hospital to hospital so y'all can't fight him. It's crazy. I'm saying it's a cold there. world yeah, out is. here, man. Yeah. Yep. And this is what I want women to realize because I haven't forgot this and I know a lot of men haven't forgot this. Y'all rooted for this chaos. Y'all wanted men who dress like women to have equal rights. Now, them motherfuckers is not only beating y'all ass, they telling you I'm a woman too, bitch. (laughs) Y'all fought harder than civil rights, God damn it, for their rights. Do you see what it's like to be a woman running into a brick wall at 100 miles per hour? I will never stop saying that. You need to realize your way is not working. Look at the hood. Those are the kids you raised. I wasn't there with you to raise them. Shit. Think I'm sticking around this shit? I'm trying to motherfucking have peace. I'm supposed to stay with the baby because you kept this one. You killed the other four, bitch. You aborted the other four. The one you kept, I'm supposed to be like, okay, I'm going to stick around. Bitch, look, my legacy is destroyed, bitch. It's skulls in your pussy, bitch. <laughs> and and they, they, I feel like they, they moved them because, you know, them motherfuckers study women. What? Them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers study humans, you know what I'm saying? So oh. they understand how they, how they, they base. Huh? Fuck men. Right. Yeah, yeah. They understand they base. They base is emotion. Right. You know what I mean? So they played up on their emotions because uh, we, we know the men, they felt, they felt a certain way, so the women sided with them. The big women, the, 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 the heavyweights, they, oh, uh, you body shame. And they like, oh, okay. So we play, they played on the women's emotions, and they used that against them in the long run. If you got a woman who, period, lasts five or more days, Chances are she had a lot of abortions. <laughs> that thing been yanked awkwardly <laughs> to take life out of it. And God is punishing her oh, Lord. on the extra blood side of the game. 
I'm talking about the bay, the, the brown, the brown red blood. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's really sick. Brock's candy ass bitch. What's the cherry chocolate shit? Uh cherry chocolate. The cherry chocolates. Is Chocolates some, with the cherry in it. Is this some old yeah. nigga candy? Yeah, what are those called? Yeah, that's some Shallows old nigga candy. What what Boston called? baked beans? No, no, he's talking about those. <laughs> he's talking about those. those that's the color, they, old that's the color of a period when you had more than three abortions. You got the Boston baked bean blood coming up out of you. Man. <laughs> the bitches be like, I just started. Try back in a week and a half. <laughs> like, bitch, why you bleed so long? God put you out of commission on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had, I so met a bitch that bleed for a month. And for you a guys month don't straight, run red yeah. lights? She, None of you guys run red lights? She was spotting or bleeding? She uh -huh. probably done took one of them birth control shots or something. God, get them back. They think they getting away <laughs> with something. Oh my God. That, that's exactly what it was. Them birth control shots, them bitches be bleeding like motherfucking they was in that movie Not Glory. Not necessarily. It can go either way, Corey. Not necessarily. <laughs> either they can totally disappear. Hmm? Their periods for a while, or they can get heavier ones. So Darlene, it can go either way. Yeah. Every woman I know who was on that shot. Well, there's something wrong. I'm not saying it <laughs> won't work, but when they stop taking the shot, yeah. they bleed for months at a time. And it depends on what. Some, some, some of them do that other shit too, because you know you got the shot. You got the. Uh, I had the matchstick, which I just removed. Oh, that's the who? hilarious. The matchstick. What the hell is that? It's if you like ain't had a period in three years and you stop taking that shot, the blood, blood represents yeah. a burp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a burp. Yeah. That pussy be like. That's month one. Month two. Mm. You know this guy. Now he's a. Now he's a now he's the master of menstruation. Month three. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't oh you know, already look like the Tasmanian devil, nigga. I bet you he sounded like that and looked like that when he came out of birth, when he was birthed. I bet you he sounded like that. Y'all gonna freeze up the motherfucking chat room, dog. Oh Y'all both. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, hey. Lord have mercy. They say ghost house box. Ugh. Somebody said we some nasty <laughs> Cardinal Cherry. That's what they was called. Somebody actually found the name. Oh. They say General Tasso sauce coming oh, up out there. Yeah, <laughs> guys. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the day, they motherfuckers don't need to understand. It's gonna be side effects. Dead cat in the street for a weak blood ass bitch. That's part of life. I mean, it's gonna be side effects because yeah. that shit unnatural. The, the birth control <laughs> shit. The birth, right. the birth control shit is unnatural. So it's, gonna, it's fucking up your flow, your, right. your, your process of your body. Right, but so it, it's it, going to be some side effects. Right, but whether they had that or not done, like if they're on birth control, they're still going to have a, a period every month. Frozen so, egg goddess. On birth no, I'm saying regardless. They're gonna have, if they're young enough and they're still having their, they're still menstruating, they're still going to have a period. That's that candy Ew, I was talking about. there it goes. Gross. That's comedy. <laughs> no, I can't stand them. They're huh? disgusting. Those no, candies? I said that's comedy. That you said that's what the blood looks like. Oh, these blood. girls' blood. They, they tampons look like them things got smashed. Yeah. Just rough. Oh, Pussy my God. With blood you chunks. guys are so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boo-booic blood. Yeah, that's what we used to call blood. it. The boo-booic blood of the land. The evil Some blood. be real wet on that period. Yeah, vampires passing. Like old preacher in the south. The boo-booic blood <laughs> of the land is coming. To hunt hoes who decided oh, so to. so you wait, so you Corey, run you're lights. Fucking, you're fucking bitch on the Marcus, period. Marcus, you just gave it away. Belly. He just gave it away. Yep, he runs lights. So he's fr he's pretty freaky. That's pretty freaky. I have had sex with girls on their period. I can't say it's better because some of these girls, well, let me put it like this. A lot of the girls that had them huh. birth control, whatever. So when they do bleed, it not only had a boo-booic blood. The boo-booic blood oh, smell well, like, um, it's a smell that is unforgettable. Well, with the, with it's, the, been with the gather, it's been gathering up in the uterus liner. It's just in there. I had a bitch. I had a bitch. I had a bitch. I only wanted to fuck her on her period. Look at Marcus. That pussy was good on that period. Look at him. Look at him. That's boy, bitch had me sing. I look know at it was him. blood. I know it was blood. Not the blood of Christ. Me. Don't. Oh, it wasn't yo. Don't you even bring <laughs> I know that song. Don't you bring it. Don't you bring it. When she came up off the balls. 
Don't, <laughs> don't bring him into it. Don't bring the Lord into it. <laughs> Nothing but the blood of ski. <laughs> 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 Can't erase blood. <laughs> blood oh, of ski. precious <laughs> is the flow <laughs> of a saw buck. <laughs> Stank yes, <laughs> hole. No <laughs> other boo boo with blood I know. So silly. <laughs> Nothing but exactly. the blood of skeezers. 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 Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 3.12, as for many people, my children God. are their oppressors. Mm. Damn, this sounds deep already. Yeah. As for many people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy yeah. the way of thy past. Oh. That's deep. That's yeah. error. Yeah. Yeah. It's like error. Error. Yeah. That's, that, that's real shit. Cause thee to err. Yeah. Uh -uh. What does error mean? Like error. error. It's like error, short for error. Error. Yeah. Who said that? So, so some, what is that? Some bitch? He has it perfect though. I'm sorry. What does it he say? Kind of on it. He said it smells like um, rusty pennies. Yeah. Oh, Doctor Naka, you know what? I can't not yeah. with you guys. <laughs> Smell like rusty pennies. You? Yeah. That smell is. Unforgettable, that, 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 yeah. Yeah. that boo booic blood period smell. That's, <laughs> that's some real shit. That's real human. Some bitches use their kids to run you. No, I'm saying, so, like, man, look, all heart. this stuff was, a lot of this stuff, the they hell? knew <clears throat> what the devil would do. Right. And look at this world. You remember, dog, in the 50s and 60s, 70s, and I would even say the 80s. I don't remember the 70s. <laughs> I do remember <laughs> early 90s. How old were you in the 70s, Craig? Well, I was zero years old. I was born well, February But your 4th. pops know. Yeah. What's the year? And I want 1982. You to, I want you to you tell me. You were born 82? Yeah. So oh, would you, tell, tell us about the 60s. Deep, go, deep, Corey, finish. No, what I'm saying 70s. is. I was born in 67. Mark. There was a different <laughs> type of black people, a different type of people. But I'm saying black people, you could not be from the black neighborhood, shoot somebody grandmama and get away with that. Right. Oh, yeah, the men of the village are come looking for you. Mm -hmm. What type of woman? He done shot <laughs> Miss Johnson. <laughs> get him. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even make ruckus yeah. in the neighborhood. They would come most check for that Most niggas who do so. that is because most men that abuse women is because their mama hated women. Man, and say that, that again, most, women, most men that abuse women is because their mother hated women. Growing up, they hear their mom always talking about this bitch Susan, this dumb bitch. I hate this bitch. This, you know, so and they they develop that same type of sentiment. Wow, mm. that's deep. Craig, fact for real. Craig been dropping them facts since he been Drop on the them show. Bombs. Shit. Drop oh. them bombs. <laughs> well, some of them, you know, they daddy was beating beating their mama ass too, and they picked that up. <laughs> you know, they they, <laughs> they feel like they, they was, that was normalized in their home. So, oh, you supposed to beat your bitch, except Prince. Answer me, motherfucker. <laughs> he tried, though. He ran in there real good with them heels. He ran in there. He realized Francis L. was a big motherfucker. Yep, he stopped. <laughs> 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 right. I ain't never seen that. Oh, oh, hell. Francis L. shot himself in the head fucking with that half-breed bitch. Dang it, Marcus. Francis L., what was that? We got to have an old movie night with That's Marcus. That's Prince Father. Mm -hmm. Okay, the yeah. The movie Purple Rain. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So he, he put his father's name out there. Yeah, remember Francis when he was L. beating the mama and the cops yeah. came? I, I never what? watched the Purple Rain. You got to have breed bitch, dog. Uh -huh. It ain't going to work. Neither one of them. Okay. I always thought that was an uh, old girl from... Uh, from <laughs> deep disappointed we ain't seen oh deep disappointed well that's a big one when usually I, the other movies eh, but purple rain uh, D, D still got it on cassette very funny <laughs> very funny <laughs> we, 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 we what you know about VCR cassette so Marcus, what movie. you know about cassette <laughs> when i was a kid i thought prince and jasmine guy was the same motherfucker oh stop I didn't know that. I didn't know until I got probably like eight, nine years old. It was two different people. You said they she's handsome, huh? You said they she's handsome. Look, like, look at Prince. Uh, look at Francis L. <laughs> that was that moment. Yeah. That's one of the greatest but actors. But look how ever. look how little. That's one of the greatest actors. Oh wait a second. He says the death scene that you talk about. He That's does, my Clarence. He, he does, does, is that Clarence Wynn? Yeah. He does that death scene you were mm. talking about. Bad motherfucker. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Isn't that him? 
What? Yes, that's him. <laughs> Did you see him in Purple Rain? They haven't seen oh, I got, it. Neither I got to watch it just because of that. Now, no, if you I, see him in Purple Rain, you will respect his range of acting. I got to watch it just because he in yep. that motherfucker. They made him like an Ike Turner type dude, but that motherfucker know how to cry. Yeah, he do everything. That motherfucker know how to yell. I say let's have an old movie night, and then we can ask, talk to you guys about it afterwards. Old girl was That'd like, old Prince Mama was like, you never let me have any fun. He was like, <laughs> yeah! And <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was like a big movie when y'all was... Yes. Up, huh? you what? Were, yes. Yeah, went, are you kidding me? Y'all went to the theater to see that? Yes. Yeah. Like you don't you don't hear it. What was you, you wearing, nigga? When I was a kid. Okay. D went through the drive thru <laughs> <laughs> I went through the premiere, not really. <laughs> What's the first movie you ever seen in the theater? Um, oh, Star Wars. The okay. first one. I remember the Very Wiz. Um, I remember certain movies I saw while I was um a kid. Okay. It was yeah. a scary movie that yeah. I couldn't even sleep for a week. Yeah, called why? Beyond the Door. I that let you know how old I am. I never heard that shit. I know that one. one. Yeah, they yeah. yeah. made that at home. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, that was back when movies mm -hmm. was only showed on the big screen. That's true. There wasn't no VCRs or nothing. Like if you see a movie at the theater and you don't catch it, then that was forget it. about it. But then they start coming out with this stuff. Um, but movies used to cost like two and three hundred dollars. What? Oh yeah, yes. to buy them from like like uh, uh, to buy a blockbuster. A movie? From like Blockbuster? This is before Blockbuster. They used to have this thing called, was it Beta? What was it? What was it? It was it was early on where, like, I remember you buy movies. They were like $100 yeah. to $100. own it. To own it, though. To, to own it. Wow. To have it. To, to see it, it again. Because, yeah. yeah. of course, the, the currency wasn't even there. Marcus, no, listen to me, bro. I'm telling yeah. you, I'm older than you, man. As, as your mom. Your mom about my age? No, she's your, way I mean, your younger. Mom, me and your mom the same what age. Isn't she younger? Because she's younger, I thought. No, oh, shut up. Me and Marcus' oh, mom I thought the she same was younger age. Than him. Oh, I didn't know that. Mama okay. actually older than Cora, I think. Oh. Is she? 68. When is her birth? Oh, 68. Oh, who? Oh. Oh, I thought you meant she was older. Oh, well, she got me probably about six months or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. I'm saying, Marcus, like, you wouldn't even believe that people was paying for these big ads, and it was big things you put into these big Players. If you could own it, yeah, mm. it was rare. It was like, yo, when yeah. movies first came out, I remember Airplane was like $78. Hold Damn. on, so they had something before the VC VCR? The yes. Put oh, your yeah. movie in? yes, brother. In the 80s. What was it called? Beta. It, it was, it's before Beta. It was, I just don't yeah. know what it's called. Beta what was it? Max. Beta Max? Is that and what then, it was? Yeah, and then VHS. Beta then Max. They had all the other ones. I've never heard By the time I, I got never... to high school, they had um, VHS. That's yeah. crazy. I've never heard of that. And you know Blu ray, right? Yeah, okay. Blu-ray. Yeah, talking about the DVD. Yeah, no, Blu-ray. That looks like it. Yeah. That looks like it's an album. I don't know what that is. No. Mm. You talk, uh, are you talking about like they play years ago? No, it was movies. <laughs> no, I don't know about yeah. that. All the Blu-ray I know is the DVD. Oh. There's a lot of stuff that came out. Man, you ain't older than me. They used to act out movies. Well, well, <laughs> not only am I older than him, but Rage like, was the movie. Oh, <laughs> Skywalker. <laughs> Deep before. Deep performed Star Wars a damn set. Right. <laughs> Come on, family, it's now, time. Not only am I older than him, but we also had money in an era where he probably didn't. Do you remember do when, Panama Jack? Yeah. Darling, darling, do you remember when you learned English? Learned English? What are you talking about? That was number. What are you talking about? We were shunned. My parents and stuff were shunned, so they didn't speak. Craig, oh, stupid no. man. No, I asked That's funny. It's me. almost five generations. If my great great grandmother oh. was eighteen days old, and there was no border, like they, they, yeah. yeah. Oh, they go. Okay, yeah. Okay, folks, we gonna like get to do shit, but I gotta we were ask here way before something. you. Something. Didn't learn English. She's like twelve. That's when she learned how to talk. Very funny. Does anybody know where they went on their first date? On my first date, damn. <laughs> I want to say the Edwards Movie Theater. Wow! Yeah. Ooh, yeah. They, those I think we questions. went to see Life. 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 Yeah, I was Jesus. in the tenth grade. <laughs> wow. I know. Tenth grade. I got good memory. God, and do you know who oh, it was? Dude. Do you remember her name? Yeah, I remember her name. I'm not. Don't I'm have not to say the say, last yeah. name. God. You serenaded a girl yeah. in a fucking boat yeah. <laughs> that you rowed to the middle of the lake. <laughs> and and nigga, I think the first one I remember. That nigga was on a donkey on his first day. I was at. I went to a Juneteenth concert. We, uh, <laughs> I knew I was right about you. Who performed? Hey, who performed? Right. You know the first before, give me that pussy. Webby. You know the first oh, thing Marcus said when a girl was like, eat my pussy? Uh, what did he say? Huh? 
<laughs> that nigga took his girl shooting on his first day. He said, Woo child. That nigga went skeet shooting on his first day. Pull! Oh my God. I hit you with this acorn with my slingshot. They said I went to a silent yeah, movie. <laughs> Big Craig made his bitch do push ups. Yeah. They said, Donnie went to a silent yeah. Mama said, I, my, Mama That's said, I can't fuck with you. You can't do 10 push ups. You <laughs> sat front row at a pie eating contest for your no, first day. No, now here's the deal. Here's the question. Mama, too, guys. Said, Mama said, Did pull. you guys pay for that? Like, did you actually mm-hmm. take her out on a full on date? Like, I totally did. provide. Three seventy five was the matinee price to see life in nineteen ninety eight. See, look at that. Look at Mark. Like, ticket. damn. I had twenty dollars with that twenty. I was able to give me a haircut, a hey, white t shirt, a haircut, snacks, a white t shirt, and take her to the movies. Wow. Look at that. Now, did you guys drive? You walked? No, nah, I, mean, I met her there. My mother dropped me off. See, that's how it yeah, goes. Yeah. Okay. Just mm-hmm. great. My very first So how many push-ups did you have to do that week to get that money? <laughs> that's hilarious. Who'd that's you how you got the allowance. Walk? Who'd you dog walk, Greg? <laughs> did you do 20 push-ups today, son? Did you 10 cents? Go ahead. Yeah. Marcus, Marcus first day, he was like, you going to get my TV back, bitch. You remember, the, <laughs> hey, you, remember, you, you remember the first sucker thing you did for a bitch? Like when you was like, that nigga, I was a like sucker. Like I got took, yep. This bitch took my headphones. Oh, I remember that. Like oh, he's, he's talked about that. Okay. Is that the one, something that you I, something bitch gave me a window? Christmas list with uh, 30 things. I bought 29 of them motherfuckers. <gasps> oh. Oh, great. Oh, goofy. Boo-boo. That's what happened. <laughs> I was 17, man. <laughs> I wouldn't give a guy. I was still fucking other oh, bitches. You were still but, sweet, Craig. Yeah, I thought it would, I thought it would work out. I walked in the snow. He said he thought it would work out. <laughs> <laughs> I was the lame withers. Mine yeah. was at the, I was already going there, I but mine was at the skating rink. I was really? so much fun. Oh, he could skate. About, about, <laughs> about a mile or two to a bitch to, and we'll stop by a stop, just to stop by a store and get us some. You, you know what she said when she saw you? How you sweating out here? Yeah, she, she, she said, why, why you ain't got no shoes on? That nigga was there. <laughs> Thank you, Evan. That nigga Corey, his first, his first date, he called the salmon out of the creek. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, man. What you didn't say? Oh, that's you didn't say your, your first, first date. Your first date hit, D. Go ahead on. Yeah. Your, what was your first date? I don't remember the bitches. What was the first? What's the last one? The one you can remember? The earliest, Look, earliest when one. When I was a young man, I don't think I you fucked dated. an obese girl in the alley. Alley. He yeah. told us that before. That yeah. is. That's weird. the first date I remember. Oh. Is that right? The fat girl in the alley. Oh. She bent over and she. She cursed you. She that was your it. first time hitting? I didn't I didn't get to the pussy. And uh-huh. he called that a date. Bless she his cur- heart. She that's cursed. where it all, she had a that's where it all started. started. That's where all he left and went issues. somewhere together and came back. That's, that's, that's a date, right? She started. That nigga had his pants down and she had her <laughs> jeans on. That's the problem right there. In line. She, she cursed <laughs> she, she cursed him. She passed the, she passed the weight down to him. I know both, <laughs> both our mouths was open. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> she was like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank God there was no cameras like there was nowadays. They definitely would have been on, caught on camera in the alley. Oh, my God. <laughs> but look at these two. I got hair from a stud white bitch uh, my senior year. That was crazy. What? Stud white bitch? Yeah. Bitch was At school? Was a, Where'd you guys, if you were? She was if an you, ROTC. She had the sergeant uniform on and shit. White you guys straight. did at school? Straight stud. Yeah, that's cool. I found, I, she sucked me up. She had an American flag on one hand, and she was sucking my dick. With you were <laughs> playing her allegiance yeah. to the dick. She was an ROTC, nigga. <laughs> Stud white bitch. <laughs> Cassie, what's going on, Cassie? I say Rolling your name, Cassie. That's how you chipped your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't I'm, nobody gonna believe she fucked me unless I, you know. Alley Cat. <laughs> I fucked the bitch and found out she used to be a stud. Is that right? That's yeah. Funny. I went out. Oh. I, I was coming oh. through. After I do fuck it, I come through the house and I seen like a prom picture and shit. Yeah. And I was like, well, D well, burn her first date from when her like, uncle used to babysit. What? <laughs> Think what? about it. Oh, gross. God, Corey. She did what? He's just She gross. burned her first date because her uncle used to babysit. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? She let her first date smash in the doorway when he picked her up. Both you guys, all you guys. It's haters. <laughs> Fuck me right Jealous. here. After the second day, she was like, hurry up, Ice, and get to me. <laughs> ice. He didn't come till later. Ice All like- right. We're going to go get the fuck shit out the way. Oh, wow. Hope we can make the best Thanks, of friend. it. Thank you, friend. Darlene, Lou, talk about bullshit. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Actually, before 10? Woohoo. All right. Beyonce's mama. Oh, Tina. Tina Knowles is divorcing her now second husband, actor Richard Lawson. Oh, um, my after God. all, oh, I forgot to say that. About Darn to come it. up. 
after all, no, he here's can, the deal. Here's the deal. Let me, let me, let me you'll get half a house a day, after yeah. Richard Lawson, after eight years of marriage, um, after all the other recent celebrity divorces. Now they seem to be at this moment, right? Okay. Other, in other words, like all the other ones that are getting very messy and displayed for the public. This one seems in the beginning. Let's see. I don't know. But word is that she asked the courts to not grant the ability to argue any spousal support for either party so they can just go their own way. Nobody, in other oh, words, nobody Richard gets any. Richard from the Pfeiffer, yeah. No, no, no. So far they said that he, no words. So this, this nah, was just nah, in the court. So let's give him time. Richard, let's see. I hope not. I mean, he's got his own. He's going to be back on that Greyhound, nigga. Anyway, you better fight for that money. She said the only thing that she wants to restore is her maiden name, Celeste Knowles. Um, and that shouldn't be too tough. Um, and also, they didn't have any children between like the that. two of them, of course. Um, but as with any divorces in celebrity uh, stardom, you never know. So we'll, there was a tape we'll out. See what happens? It looked like Smokey Robinson and Hank. But Aaron did you like see? This. He's moving on, and he was dancing <laughs> and skipping. I don't know if you guys saw his, but they posted up his uh, Instagram, and he's actually he's like skipping and stuff. So he seems like he's happy to move on. Nigga said like Smokey Robinson and Hank Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw a video of him while she was talking, and you could just tell how awful a woman she is. You can tell if you see this videotape where she's talking, then she starts talking about him. He catches, he's, he's looking at her like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, bad, it's a bad look for her. She's, mm -hmm. You can tell she's a... Seems controlling. I think yeah, she's she fucking with like She definitely was in control of that. Yeah. So we'll see because, you know, of course, her daughter. You heard me, Corey? What, what happened? So she left him for Jay Z Mama. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> they going to have that picture of them together. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Because <laughs> Jay Z Mama get married, right? Yeah, yeah she's just and they, and they getting divorced? Yeah, I'm telling wow. you. It might work. That's, that's saying a lot. That's so you said, you said Jay Z mama putting that rubber on her. Yeah, Jay Z mama got bitches. Yeah, but they have been together for a minute, right? When she oh. with that girl for like six years or something. Jay Z mom. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. It don't matter how long you've been with a girl. If you're a girl who motherfucking perpetrates as a guy, you you ain't just with one girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's real shit. Anyway, yeah. and as we know it, this year still because it hasn't even gotten here, and of course it goes for the entire year that it is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. So the celebrations are continuing, which I love, of course. Um, and the most recent one, I love that uh, Men's Health, if you haven't seen it yet, you wanna go get your copies. It has a good um, cover and it's a double cover, which means it's so long. I think I sent you the two pictures, Nail. Um, and, and it has uh, Busta Rhymes, Method Man, 50 Cent, Ludacris, Common. It, it, it looks great, so I'm, I'm excited for them. So, you know, just all these different um, elements that's being shown of all these rappers and anybody uh, connected to hip hop. So, I like that. It's about time. I hadn't seen it. I know that they always talk about Method Man and 50 Cent working out or what have mm -hmm. you, but it was nice to see that they put all these different, t different guys on there. So, there you go. There it is. All right. So? So that was good. I like it's time that. Time to leave that alone. I don't want to hurt yeah. no feeling. Uh oh, what you? About to I love Buster. He got to stop wearing that chain. That wearing the what? I love people Buster at the Ryan. Coin Academy up in here today. He likes the day. chain. He got to stop. That's that why that nigga neck's so big. Yeah, that his ass chain he keep carrying around. That shit look crazy, man. That's the, that's the old school. The big old yeah, chain. That nigga got weights on his neck. The big old Mr. T chain. That's what that's what Craig used to get walked on. <laughs> wow! Oh, I didn't see that. We gotta walk Craig today. That that is crazy. Put the collar looking. on it. Is that real? <laughs> that looks kind of superimposed. I on Craig him. was a pit bull real. puppet. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Is that real? Common Com got panties on in this picture. Common make everything weird. I, I can't. Damn, Whenever dang, you see Marcus, that nigga on some been... shit, it just you know what I'm saying. It just seemed like so. What's what else is going on with this picture when Common is in it? Huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That nigga, what are you doing, nigga? <laughs> Common is weird. I love him, but I mean, fuck, nigga. You be making light-skinned niggas look crazy. Oh, I can't, Craig. Because what is he doing? Uh, what the what fuck are you doing? doing? He got the weirdest pose. Yeah, that nigga. Okay, so look at what all of them are doing. Like he said, yeah. uh, Do you want to go through these pictures? I mean, Ludacris yeah. looks all right. It looks like he's saying, why? <laughs> and they, 
<laughs> Method Man <laughs> is like flexing. Yeah. I mean, what Wiz Khalifa doing is probably the most regular That's thing regular. up there. Yeah. yeah. And 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 Buster, look, Buster, Buster, just chilling. He touching a nigga. Oh God, Jesus! Well, I mean, you're posing for a magazine. Like, what if they okay. said we gotta fit you guys in? Scoot in. Oh, Hold, on, that come on. Hold on, Hold on, Hold on, Hold on, on nigga. And there's hey. other covers too. Hold each on, each person nigga. has their own nigga cover. Like I forgot to say. Flamboyant Venus each, Williams. Each right person there. has Hold their own. Hold up, nigga. They wrong for keeping that picture, yeah, but. <laughs> There's others too. There's bitch. more. He, that picture, it looked like when he checked in the oh, hotel, he be like, oh, "We the boy." Go back to Method. I like Method. Oh man, cool. <laughs> hey, hey man, got, look, man. Propped out comments standing behind him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing. I'm fucking with you, man. I'm fucking with you. I'm a fan. <laughs> we just joking. We gotta man. make jokes, <laughs> man. Know, you know it's a method to these jokes, man. Yo. What method? Oh, what is yeah. Method? Hey, what is Method Man <laughs> saying right there? <laughs> Hurry up, nigga. Right. <laughs> I like that pose. That's so big. That's crazy, man. I'm built for this. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't show me Ludacris. What was he doing? They ain't got no more pictures, do they? Oh, I like that. That's a good, that's a good pose right there. Okay. Yeah. Coming at ya. Okay. Go, go, Fitty. Go, Fitty. Like he like he's about to grab a nigga chest. Where Ludacris at? <laughs> I'll mm -hmm. you know take. Oh, Common don't never do no regular shit, man. <laughs> Stop. He Something wrong about with that, that brother, man. That's what he used to do when Tiffany asked for sex. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. Bitch, why we gotta go through this? When you gonna fuck oh. me? I'm fucking with you. Put, you. put your balls right here. When you gonna fuck oh. me, Timmy? <laughs> oh, Lord. Is that all of them? Where they well, get I would, there's Ludacris, because I know that they did individuals. Where Ludacris? They went through all of them. No. Oh, wow, very funny. Why you put them chocolate chips on his face? I know Buster Ryan's got a crazy one. Who's that? Ludacris. Ludacris, I don't know about that first one. Oh, I that, like that one with the like, pick. Yeah. I like that one with like the pick. Uh, uh, a, a later transitioning. Yeah, like dominant <laughs> WNBA no, player. No, Luda. <laughs> 50 in league. For 50 a game. Look like the girl off the heart of they fall. I think so. Hey, man, all these niggas some good niggas. They though. are. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, on, we just talking man. shit, man. Yeah, um, there you go. All right. Whoa, he knows that looks crazy. Look That's at the bracelet. Look at the bracelet. I love it. Go, Vesta. Go, Vesta, yeah. Yeah, like a, bad, a bad negotiator. All right, and like I said, it continues. So speaking of hip hop, I'm gonna continue it on, um, celebrating it. Um, so this is interesting. It is very rare these days, especially that you get to see a current rapper, female at that, um, with a well-respected old school legend come together in any capacity. So um, if you check out the YouTube short clips by Sprite 2, yes, the drink, um, they're helping to celebrate the 50th anniversary of hip hop. So they have these little clips. And apparently, I didn't know this, that Lotto, um, the female rapper, um, used, used his song. So he used, she used Don't Sweat the Technique. And he's sitting there on, um, they're sitting there like at a restaurant table or whatever. And he's basically telling her thank you that she did a good job. So I haven't heard it yet. Who, 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 who's Rock Rakim. Okay. I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah, I know. Oh, Rakim. wow. Okay. So Rakim from Eric B and Rakim, he's telling Lotto that he, she flipped it and he liked the way she did it, so he's giving her props. So if you go on YouTube and you look up the Sprite 2, Rakim and Lotto, you'll be able to see this. So it's like a little, almost like an interview he's doing with her. So it was good. I don't really Lotto. hear bad news about Rakim. He seems like a 100 dude. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just keeping it a buck. So, and actually, uh, out of all, a lot of the current females, I, I, I'm, I'm big on voices and I like her voice. Who? Lotto, the rapper Lotto. Okay. I mean, some of them, some of them, when they're speaking, it's either so high pitched, like girly, you can't really understand what they're saying. I don't even know who she is. I never heard. Right. Yeah, she oh, she's got that song. big D energy. It's a song, oh. so if you hear it, if you heard it, you'd probably go, oh, "Okay, I heard that." What's the name of it? Well, they the clean version is Big Energy, but it basically says Big Dick Energy. So. B B D Energy. No, Big Dick Energy. I'm not saying she's, that. Like I know. That. <laughs> We'll just B, say big B, energy. energy. That song the, is that's trending right now the, too, though. The 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 um clean version is just big energy. So when you yeah they can they have a clean. They're gonna version. play it on the Grammys. They had um, oh they've been playing it. They had they had them people on, on the Grammys. The, a song won a Grammy and they performed. They called wet ass pussy. That's true. That's that you know that this is what they putting out there. 
Cube. Ice Cube said the deepest shit. The people that own the record companies own the prison. Yeah, that, that is true. That but is she got true. that. She got that song that, that everybody keeps saying, "Rip me out the plastic." I've been acting brand new. That's her. Yeah, I kind of heard that one. I still ain't heard. I haven't heard. heard I haven't had it heard it all the way through, and I don't really know it that well. But that <clears> big <throat> energy one is a good one to work out to. I like that one. <laughs> and little Kim has finished. She's been teasing it on her social media, but she's finished her. Wait, are you finna show a picture of little Kim? Uh, I think they have Let one. Let me get ready for this. Oh, stop. But anyway, it's she finished her biography. Like, she's got a, um, a documentary coming out. So, we'll see how that goes. Let me see what get costume she got on. Uh, right. uh, I think, I, yeah, they got I think, it. I, I, think, I think Lil' Kim found the mask. The Jim Carrey in the movie. Oh, I think yeah. She found the real one. So, we'll <laughs> see how they do it. <laughs> she got a new face every year. All them bitches who fuck their cheeks up, dog. They just, I don't know why they did that to they sell. Those Man. fillers and stuff. Well, and, and, and Black China, before. she looks great now. What does like the $5 said, nigga say? What happened? Did you get that picture? T. Curry, Nia? what up? A, a little, little Kim? Little what do you Kim. think about the police letting the dog bite the black no? truck driver that was surrendering when they were ordered not to release the dog? Shit, pay the man. I didn't see him. I didn't see it either. But pay the man. I want you to look at her, man. I can't. I can't. It ain't as bad as it. Oh, you didn't know. Oh man. Oh my God. That bitch looked like a a sumo wrestler. Man, that bitch looked like. Oh, you you know, come back here. You know, come back here. Oh my. Yes, Thor. Yes, Thor. That the makeup wouldn't cover up that uh, botched nose job. See, that is the definition. Hurry up and buy. Of what I said, running into a brick wall at a hundred miles per hour. Her snot is plastic. Hey, T. Curry, mm -hmm. thanks for the $5, but we ain't going to fuck the show up by <laughs> showing the police dog right now. We wasn't up on the story, so we couldn't prep for it. But the police have been sicking dogs on brothers as long as the police have been in existence. Oh, sure, yeah. The police are made, even though they got laws to protect the citizens they want to protect, the police are your number one danger with somebody you can't do nothing about it. Like if you got your thing out there in the streets, you can protect yourself against most elements. But the police, if you do what you gotta do with the police, they are gonna act like you did something wrong. That's real mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. That's why they public enemy number, number one. one when it comes to morality and safety of black people because no matter what you do, they're going to say you did something wrong because there is no justice. Uh, nope. Just us. Uh -huh. <clears throat> just say it again, Marcus. Just us. It's just us. So, uh, there we go. This motherfucker look Kim, but she looked hey. like she was in the middle of getting a nose job. It was like, hey, I got somewhere to be. Right, let me go take yeah, this finish photo when I get shoot. Back. <laughs> Darlene yeah. going to put this picture on the 5150 <laughs> show. I didn't. That's not what I sent him. Yeah, I said now she Now, did you see how blurry this shit I is? Now. She was still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stop. That's fuckable. Can right you there. imagine in the morning after she washed her face and asked you, you want something to eat for breakfast? Can you just imagine that face with all that stuff washed off it? Uh, like, look at that. Yeah, that's a lot on the other side. Dude. Right. <laughs> I want to play a game. She looked like. Face. You remember? Scary. <laughs> scary. She looked like the girl who framed Roger Rabbit. Was it? <laughs> Jessica. Jessica Rabbit. She looked like Jessica Rabbit on that motherfucker. I can't clown her, man. That's she's sick, man. She destroyed herself, dog. Yeah. <laughs> she destroyed herself. Well, she it, she, <laughs> I'd still like to see it, though. I want to see the documentary. Why she I got mean, two sets of jaws? That's crazy. <laughs> uh, Thanks for the $50, pimp. Jess Dre. <laughs> Jigsaw. Oh, that's terrible. Would you like to play a game, face <laughs> And um, of course, rest in peace, Sinead O'Connor. If you're not if familiar with when she, back in the 90s, when she tore up the Pope's picture, a lot of people didn't understand at the time what she was actually doing. She was way ahead of the scandal in the Catholic Church regarding children after she finished singing a Bob Marley song, War. So a lot of people aren't aware of all that stuff. But anyway, she was ahead of a lot of people even knowing that all that stuff was even going on with the Catholic Church. So right. being from out there and in um, Europe and everything, it was already like really well known. So she was bringing light to it. People didn't know. So they jumped the gun and they were, oh, I hate her because she's, you know, she's defacing the Pope's <coughs> picture and what have you. But that's what she was up to. So rest in peace. She apparently, they haven't given the exact details, but you that's know. That's not Sinead O'Connor? Yeah, it is. That's but Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, Pee Wee Herman. What are you Herman. talking about? I'm about to say him next. 
Oh, that ain't Pee Wee Herman? Oh, my Herman? God, no. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, he's bit, He's horrible. Oh, I can't even no, get... I, I can't. Know. Anyway, so uh, my condolences to her. Apparently, her Rest they say peace. her... Exactly, that she pretty much died of heartache because her 17-year-old son had committed suicide. So oh, she man. hasn't been the same. So, 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 so let me get this right, D, because, oh, see, God, I'm a real motherfucker. Go. Of course. You say she died of heartache because her 17-year-old son killed herself? They haven't given the what exact details. What a sentimental motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, it's just amazing the stories that they put out there. No, well, we don't know yet, in other words, but that's just what they can come up decent and they say. I don't know. I, right. Nobody has said what she's act, how she, she died actually died. Of heartache died. Cause her yeah. son. Well, whatever caused her to yeah. take herself or whatever, because in other words, they haven't said, so we don't know. That's just uh, She died because exactly. she ain't being led by a man. Oh, God. Rest in peace, Sinead. So moving on. Um, yeah, rest in peace. Um, <laughs> stop. All you motherfuckers tell me I'm funny. Boy, they just... They just... Wait, oh, this oh, guy man. over here is concerned about people telling him he's fine. Oh, I'm just looking at the cover. Oh, just, my God. Marcus be needing every that week, shit. Every week now. It's get, you gonna find another girl to send nope. you an email? Hey, go. Oh, girl, sit right here. <laughs> I was just gonna say, yeah, yeah, I was gonna end it with the last one. So here we go. That motherfucker got bad at me because I wouldn't respond. <laughs> oh Lord, here we go. Rest. She kept trying to get at you, did she? Oh, stop. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she, probably, she But tell you us held the truth her up, here. Marcus. She's you put tell all us blast. The truth on here. Yeah, you should. But yes, I want to end it with rest in peace, Reuben, A.K.A. Pee Wee Herman, passed away this past Sunday after battle from cancer at the age of seventy. Somebody say she deleted yeah, herself. 70? 70, yeah, yes. 70? Wow. And a lot of his very close friends said this is terrible because they didn't know. He actually kept it and he actually wrote a letter before he passed apologizing to all those that were close to him, not letting them know how sick he was, but he didn't want to. So. Do whores still wear uh, thongs when they have colon cancer? You stupid, dog. You're going to hell. We all know this. Anyway, you, um, you got to change up your britches when you. And while we're on hip hop, I want to end they a little. They can do the surgery with your hip hop 101. But what about you know, Pee Wee? I just spoke up, but you guys were over speaking, so uh, you know. My bad. Well, did we comment on the shit you say? No, if you just you read it, it won't that be thong? shit. Where did that thong thing? That wasn't a comment about Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman wore cancer. thongs. Colon yeah, cancer did. and a thong. Didn't he get caught jacking off in the movie theater? Yeah, yeah, but that has nothing to do with no thong. I'm pretty sure he had one on while he was doing it. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Any nigga that beat off in a movie theater, nigga. Yeah, but he was watching, you know, some keep money in his That was back in the day when you used to he have keep to put money the in coin. His Remember, you have to put the coin in the, yeah, you had to go to these movie theaters. Had, but what yeah. was, what movie, I just need to know, what movie was he watching where he could jack off? Glory, nigga. I thought it wasn't even a movie. I thought it was one of those well, raised boxes, Craig. Wasn't it one huh? of those ones where you can actually <laughs> see the woman? I thought it was one of those. Oh, it was a porn yeah, theater. Yeah, it was right oh. over here in Hollywood. How you know it was, what was he doing? the story when it came out. What, what was the story? He got busted for its exposure because he was and exposed was to himself. Off to Howard and apparently the, the, the rules in there were not to, you can't take your junk out. And apparently he did. Man, yeah. So what that say about him? He took his junk out in a public place. No, 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 no. Porn Nobody joint. was there. He was you're in, in a thing movie by theater yourself. Seat it's naked. just him and the, the, the movie or the girl. Yeah, in other words, you, you're by yourself. Right. But exposure, so, you're not supposed to be pulling your stuff out. So I guess he got... Anyway, so that's he what I'm a, saying. He went to a public place well, they didn't have porn accessible like they do now. I think yeah. it was in a movie theater. Oh, this was It's not an actual yeah. theater. Yeah. That's when he got busted, yeah. <laughs> that nigga, nigga Pee Wee. He had no pants on in that picture. Oh, <laughs> stop! That nigga Pee Wee. <laughs> Pee Wee was like a killer right there. He looked like bottomless. And speaking of Pee Wee Herman, so speaking of Pee Wee Herman, and I'm just going to edit Let D on. read. And speaking of, I'm not reading. This is off the cuff. Speaking of Pee Wee Herman, I'm just saying hip-hop. Hip hop memories and history, if you didn't know. <laughs> the song, the Pee Wee Herman dance. I was in the video, so was a lot of other, <laughs> the crew. Ice yeah. was too, all of us, the entire crew was. And it was a big deal because it was one of the first East Coast groups that came here and they were so excited to be on the West Coast to film it. So they filmed mm -hmm. the video here. We had a lot of fun. If you look it up on YouTube, you look up the Pee Wee Herman dance by Joe Ski Love. That's so, dope. Was and you fun. was in the video, right, D? Yes. yes. In peace, I'm wearing the, what, the, else, I'm wearing, what else you do with I'm Pee wearing the blue, the blue shirt and the yoga pants, because I was wearing them way before people knew <laughs> they were stretch pants. But You was busting down back in the day. Yeah. And high top Reeboks with Pee the fat Herman socks. The Bam! Yeah. <laughs> 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 do the Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. 
the bee we hear. Look it up. It's kind of cool. But anyway, so there we go. Rest man, in peace. Man, them motherfuckers won't help. They won't give me my mug shot, man. I need my mug shot so I can put 5150 on a shirt and sell it. Oh, yeah. you got a mug shot? What? From what? What'd you get arrested for? Stealing yeah. food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking the honey bun <laughs> in the theater. <laughs> uh, nigga went behind the counter and just grabbed a burger out of the burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes, hungry. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, and you know what he used to say? I want to say it on his, on, in his honor. I know you are, but what am I? Do you remember what he used to he say used that? To say that, that was cool. his. He's the one who coined it. What is that? I know I, you are, but what am I? I forgot. <laughs> who that asked he used to always say that. that? They who they took it say? off of him. He he used to say that all the time. Pee Wee Herman, man. Pee Wee Herman, rest in peace. I know you are, but what am I? Somebody said I'm too young. No, I remember Pee Wee Herman. See? I was like seven, eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> Pee Wee's Playhouse. Good one. Who did that? Yeah. That was perfect. That sounded just like Pee Wee Herman. I used to watch. Pee Wee's Playhouse. Man, I laugh uh -huh. every time I hear, what do you say, number nine? <laughs> Thanks for the dub. Man, I laugh every time I hear the beginning of the Prince song, Kiss. Kiss because of you. Because of you. <laughs> He's <laughs> stupid. Oh, yeah. Anyway. That was when he had his deepest voice when he got his first dick in his ass. Yeah. Prince was go. like, <laughs> <laughs> The nigga was in the studio with it. Right. <laughs> and when he talked afterwards, he was like, you don't have to be. <laughs> anyway, D, what else you got? That's it. It's That's it. it. Mm. That's it. It's All right, D, way to right. go. We haven't been putting energy into these motherfucking songs. Well, I haven't. Oh, yeah, you guys have. I want to motherfucking do a song. Take a quick break, come up with a song, and make it be some fire. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Some dude got all the songs on some shit. He gonna be mad. I'm gonna make sure I shut it down this week. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's not gonna have any any content. <laughs> I don't know why they do this dumb shit, mm -hmm. but anyway, you can't yeah. fucking like songs is the hardest thing to steal. I'm mm. thinking about having music in the background of the show, original music, so the mm. show is harder to steal. Mm. I've been thought of that, but I'm just like, do I want to do that? Yeah. I think I'm going to do it, though, because it's like, I mean, it's people who just, that's, that's all they do is bootleg everything, man. I don't know how they can be, like, they I'm got like, no yeah, pride, no, they can't be proud. It's like, what, what the fuck are you? How hard man? is that? But I ain't, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm going to make it where it's very hard to, to bootleg the show after a while. I just let y'all... Do what y'all do for a little while, but it's coming. <laughs> the motherfucking outlet mall finna be closed. All y'all motherfucking cake ass niggas. I'm a motherfucker. I ain't got to do right. I just got to do what I do. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. <laughs> cut and paste ass niggas. That's CPT a good name. Rules, cut and paste. Right. All right, so do we got some beats? Now we finna motherfucking get this beat together real quick and come right back. 5150 in the motherfucking house.
5150 show The 5150 show 5150 show The 5150 show 5150 show The 5150 show The fifty one fifty show. 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 All right, we are back. D is coming from the bathroom on the boo-booic blood side of the oh, game. Lord. It's been years. Go on here, D. Sit down. Yep. 
Fifty one, fifty show. Oh shit! <laughs> you really probably didn't wash your hands. <laughs> and shit. No, I didn't dry them, but I washed them. No you got chat problem. room goon juice on your hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too late and that one. It lasted two years. Pretty nice. <laughs> hey man, hey man, look. 5150, man, full motherfucking effect. I want to let everybody know I sure do appreciate y'all out there, OKC and Tulsa, Oklahoma. Y'all some country folks, dog, but y'all good people, man. They was asking about you, Marcus. Oh. Yeah. Didn't I call you? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I called him while he was on that face time. Yeah, man. Marcus, that was you. You know, you know the country nigga represent him, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was country. asking about you, G. Yeah, that dope, man. Hey, man, y'all keep asking about me out there in the street, man. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming through that. Hey, that should have told Oklahoma, man. Go on, give me a date. Quit playing, man. Oh, yeah. okay, C Club. Yeah. Yeah, they they was asking about you, man. Yeah, come on, Oklahoma, look out for your boy, man. Um, so my Corey got his help, his outfit from a hamburger helper box. That was a quick break. Hit it. Craig, oh. oh, okay, come on. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey. What we got here, guys? On the old school side hey. of the game. How many holes you know make the world a better place? They all slick. Hey. Sucking on dick. Yeah. Nice guys yeah. never win. How many holes you know make the world a better place? Trying to be slick. Sucking on dick. I started nice out fucking. Every bitch that you fuck with is trying to get ahead. What they need to do Get naked and stop being scared oh. This is a song about the truth When it comes to fucking hoes If it don't apply to you Why you turning up your nose Check it out Craig Fats, Marcus and D On the other end you got me This is the 5150 motherfucking show Freestyling raps, watching the catalog grow. See hoke em, I poke them, and then I let them know. You must obey to be in my life. And be nice when you see my wife. Check it out. How many hoes you know make the world a better place? They all know. <laughs> they all know. Fuck it. Nice guys never win. How many hoes you know make the world a better place? Trying to be slick. Trying to be slick. Sucking on dick. Craig, what you got? Get it to him. It's beef, at, beef at the job and beef at your home. Your husband feels alone because you think you on the throne. Bitch, forgot you was a Joan. Walking around like you the motherfucker with the bone between your legs. Hey, need a boss nigga to make you beg because you been misled and sick in the head. Watch your mother disrespect your father as a daughter And now you get older and you don't do what you order Look at the beef she brought her Self Not listening to her man and now declining help Has her old and alone Looking for some other shit to make her feel full But the bitch is full of bull shit And that's all we get when she commits A bunch of lying shit and a bunch of weird kicks Bitch you are at a disadvantage cause you don't listen Need to start a new tradition Bit start sitting. How many hoes you know make the world a better place? Sucking dick and being slick. And now you live the life as a trick. Yeah. Hey. How many hoes you know make the world a better place? We all know. They be hoes. These are hoes. Marcus, Finish what you got? They all know. Hey, hey, hey. They all know nice that guys, they hoes. The world can't revolve without hoes. That's the main one. 
Sometimes they do niggas get chose. That's just the life and how it goes. Niggas love pussy, I suppose. I'm sipping on this beat like some motherfucking cold. Oh. I came with about the concrete like a damn road. Oh. Hey, my beard, yes, it grows. And a nigga get chose. You know? Hey. How many hoes you know make the world a better place? Not very many. Look a dick, bitch. <sighs> Stay turning tricks. I can count them. How many hoes you know make the world a better Not place? Not very many. D got a verse. No, that's right. Get ready to curse. Come on, oh, D, give it to hey. us. Huh? What's new with these two and that one? Gotta always talk about bitches or hoes. Don't they have anything more to talk about? Like being a good dad or boyfriend. Will this ever end again? Keep them in your prayers and good thoughts. And maybe they can elevate the life and end all the stress and strife. So bless their hearts as they go their merry way. Let's hope they don't stay in the same place. Oh, what a waste of life and memories of them with complicated broads. Is that all they got? Is that all their odds? Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, uh uh. Oh, they keep at it with the whores and taking them to stores or buying them gas. That shit won't last. <laughs> Get some more class, my friends, and make a good turn to elevate. No hate. That was straight. Boo, how many, boo, how many boo. hoes you know make this world, world a better place? <laughs> oh, boo, boo. We all know. We all know. That they all hoes. They all nice hoes. Nice guys. Check it out. How many, how many hoes you know make this world a better place? We all know. Huh? They all hoes. I'm about nice to tell y'all a story. The girl I made my daughter with. She a funky ass Maywood bitch. Always talking bad behind my back. Made me give my daughter a smack when she told me what that bitch had to say. I said, look, both of y'all can get the fuck away. I got a life to live. You ain't got shit to give. Even though you are my child, you live with your mama for quite a while. So you part of the enemy's team. Bitch, you can dream about my demise, but it won't come. I'm having fun. I bought a gun in case you bitches show up in my house and putting that thing in your mother's broken mouth. Yeah. I love these bitches, but don't think it's sweet. I just need me some hoes to make my life complete. Get on down, step on the feet. I'm gonna go off real quick on this ICP beat. Look, insane, clown posse. Nigga, I'm coming through your party. This the nigga Marcus got a sexy ass body, and I'm coming through in that damn fucking Maserati hey. with my shirt. Niggas don't hurt. Shit over here, cause I'm the one you wanna be. And niggas gon' love M A R to the C. Hey. Marcus been working on his chest and his guns, but he gon' give you a little. Son, they wear hats with some arms that's wet. That's the best that you're gonna get. Some big feet, like a clown. Marcus, he don't go down. He new to eating it from the back. That means his passion real whack. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. The motherfucking hey, beats in the house. You dig what I'm saying? We ain't playing. Check it out, y'all. I want to let y'all know the tour begins Thursday night in Vegas. My man T. Murph will be performing from the shy. T. Murph from the shy in Vegas. Yeah, that's my guy. Oh, T. Murph, the swole ass. With the swole with the big beard. Yeah. Don't none of this grow up here, but that beard be on fleet. <laughs> You That's did. how it's been lately with a lot of people, a lot of guys. Right. Hey. Kimbo have a slice. Right. <laughs> we got a funny show for y'all in Vegas, man. We almost, it's almost sold out, man. Go on, get them tickets, man. Come on down, see me Thursday night at the House of Blues in Vegas, man. And then we's going to swing over to St. Louis. We 
got we got T Murphy and Marvin Phipps in Vegas, but yo, St. Louis. Marvin. What's up, Marvin? St. Louis just about sold out too, man. I knew St. Louis was gonna sell out. Hey. We got Marvin and we got this new guy. Oh, he was He from Chicago too. He ready to Chicago with you. M Brown. That's the whole Chicago show coming nice. to St. Louis. Took a chance on the brother. M Brown. Mm-hmm. Knock him upside the head. We're gonna swing over to Naptown the next day. Out there in Naptown, look, Naptown. I know that little pussy ass mall about closed down. But y'all go on out there and get y'all tickets at the motherfucking Egyptian room at Old National Center. That mall's still open. They got still, they still got some good stores out there. They got dick sports for all the gay dudes. They got butt bass. They got Bass Pro Shops for the girls who practice in their game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> they got some stores out there that's worth it. <laughs> now, y'all know what's up, man. Y'all better come check out the show. Show guaranteed funny. If the show, look, I promise you, everybody who come to my shows, if the show is not funny, my bad. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but the show going to be funny. You dig what I'm saying? Hilarious. We got distinguished guests in the house. This is the this is the Coin Academy, home of the Baller Podcast. Big Phil got the outreach. He reached out to <laughs> the sister. We going to put her on the spot because we glad she here. She's part of putting the Ice House thing together. I know she's shy. Oh. She can be shy if she wants to, or she can come on. What's oh, up, man. sister? We are so happy to hear from you. We heard of you. We understand about it. The Ice House. Are you sure? Uh, come on, come on. What'd you say? <laughs> no, we ain't gonna crack no jokes I, I, on you. I, I we met you at, we I glad met, you met came. You What's her name again? I met you at Penny. Magic Mountain when you uh, were starting for the Sparks. Oh, okay. I was probably like it. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Marcus like cussing me out. That's what's up. Nice to meet you. Sister. Hey, I got to stand up. I got to stand up. Respect you got another to mic? You, sister. Another mic. Yeah. This is the oh, sister who's running. Does. She's running things over at the, at the Ice House oh, Comedy yeah. Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here. She used to be, she used to play for the LA Sparks, am I right? Oh, everybody gave a seat up. Yay. Yeah, she used to play for the LA Sparks. And yeah, back she's... in the day when we used to make it hot, you know. All That's right. right. <laughs> That's what's up. And she's um, part of the programming up there at the Ice House. The yes. GM. Yeah. That's that's the big name up there. Oh, right she was on. a GM for the Sparks too, huh? Right yeah, I'm not. I don't want to brag, but I'm not the check of all three of their championships. I'm right the only on. one that has all three rings. What? Oh, See? Oh, that's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. You balling out there. Well, I was a GM. I put it together. You know, that's my connection. Oh, uh-huh. That's yeah. my connection now to Johnny Bus. Johnny Bus, who bought the Ice House. For everybody out there that don't know. So when he bought the Ice House, he was like, can you come over and help me do this? Because you won't steal from me. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so once looked, I got in there and saw what it was, you seen it, Marcus. It looked good. That, all, that ice house is, man. I have you seen it, Cole? No, I hate to I brag, haven't but seen it's fire. It. Oh, man. That's like, <laughs> is there a social media handle home. for it? Sorry, uh-huh. Marcus. Is there a the Ice House is a comedy it? club in Pasadena. Is there a social media handle for it? Like, do, where, how can they look look oh, that just up? Just see IceHouse.com. If they go and look at the IceHouse.com, we, we got to put some more pictures up, though, on our and location? website, to be honest. Okay. But it's on um, 40 North Mentor Avenue. Um, you know, it's legendary. So it's City only of- one Ice House mm-hmm. that's in Pasadena, I think in the world, matter of fact. There you right. go. Okay. But I'm telling you, it's fire. Marcus will tell oh, yeah. you. That's what's That's up. That's great. He'll tell you. Well, they got this one room up in there, like the uh, <laughs> skybox in the, in the, you know, I ain't never been to no uh, basketball game. But, right. But I imagine skybox look like They done tricked it out, ain't they? they? Yeah, oh, nice. man. Got a big chandelier in the middle of this thing, Ooh. man. Make you feel like real, real money up in there. That's what's That's up. That's great. Well, we, I was glad to see. Uh, Phil told me that you might come, so when you made it, oh, I was. Yeah. I was happy to see you when you walked in the door. I was like, that's her, right? Yeah. It was 
so much fun down there. You know, there's always something to do, but, you know, um, they have a bunch of comedians down there that were super funny. But I was telling them, hey, Phil's always coming over. He's my guy. I said, I got to stop in. You Now all you guys got to stop in the ice house. Marcus would tell you, hospitality unmatched. You know, like, we're not in competition with any clubs, but, um, like I say, the ice house is hot. That's nice. what's up. We're going to be go. there. We're going to talk to you and try to politics some things going okay. on. Up there, you dig <laughs> there what I'm you saying? go. We uh, show here. Yeah. Well, you, you caught us at the end of the show. We finna wrap it up. I'm going to just let everybody plug their stuff. But we got the Ice House plugged. Yes. Um, We're going to start frequenting that place <laughs> yeah. and seeing what's up. Craig told us, I mean, uh, Mark. Phil told me okay. about it when it first opened back up. And today I talked to Phil about it, so we we opening the doors to try to get things cracking. Fifty one fifty is um a big following, and I know they're gonna come up there and see what's up. Oh, you have to stop in. I welcome all you guys. I'm telling you that it. I don't come from a comedy background, but I tell you, I'm all in it now, 100. percent I've been meeting so many great comedians. It's been so much fun. To be honest with you, I never thought I'd get another job <laughs> where, <laughs> where it didn't seem like a job. Because I would say, when you're working in sports, it don't seem like a job. Right. Just like now, I get up and I come. I mean, how many people can say they come to a job to laugh? And that oh, they yeah. love, right. You know, you're having a good time, huh? I'm having a great time. And anybody that's been in the club, Phil, like I say, Phil and Marcus can tell you, I lost track of time. I was like, hey, let me get out of here. I want to go come mm -hmm. up here and see Phil. You know, he invited me a couple of times, so I wanted to wanted to show up, but if you ever coming in a hospitality on a match, it seems like home, and it seems like a beautiful home. Yeah, okay. you know, like, yeah, Where you from originally? I hear that Southern in your voice. Okay, well, don't you take a guess, Mr. Uh -oh. Show Host. <laughs> 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 you got, you got, uh -oh. Frank, I got Frank you. says you Georgia. Got, you got, you got two guesses, and if you get it wrong, you got to perform in the ice house. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, whoa, that's, whoa. that's what you talk about, that pressure, that basketball pressure. I will right come down there. there. I will come down there because you down there anyway. <laughs> anyway. You know, but guess anyway. Down. And I'm going to give you a freebie. He's wrong when he said Georgia. Okay. So, so there you go. You got two more. You got two guesses there. Where is she from? Come on now. With a North Carolina. Like oh, North Carolina, no. No, I got one more guess. You got one more guess. You coming to the house house. Oh, he was oh! doing it. <laughs> Craig, you Craig did the research. He cheated. I saw Craig pull the phone out. I saw Craig pull the yeah. phone out. Washington, D.C. Right. Yeah. You know, you know, I, I, I was My over here like, that ain't sound, but it's, good. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know that, yeah. I know that, them little accents, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They said icon. Several people said icon in the WNBA. Oh yeah, that's see, those right. People smart to say icon. Icon. Ah, that. that's right. Yeah, you know. Best female I ever played against would probably be. Uh, that that that's hard to say because I don't play against a lot of the best. Yeah. Like you know, I don't play against Cheryl Miller. I don't play against Cynthia Cooper in American Soul and European Soul. Oh. Um, you got Teresa Weatherspoon. I mean, Teresa Edwards. I don't know if you guys know any of these les um, legends. And of uh, course, Lisa I know was the on Millers, my team. Yeah. Lisa and I were the first two players on the Sparks. Matter of fact, only out to Lisa in my jersey is the only jersey that hangs in wow. crypto right now. Oh, so, wow. Uh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, and then I don't play against a, a lot of the greats. And, you know, like um, a player you wouldn't know, the best foreign player that I ever played for. The one American, her name was um, Hortensia. She was the best Brazilian player, probably one of the best European players ever. Uh, she was good, huh? Yeah, she was good. So I don't, yeah, if you name them, I don't probably played against the best. Uh, that's what's yeah, up. That's what's up. Yeah, you man. know what? Like, I'm going to look up what I can on watching you play. That's you up there, right? Oh, yeah, that's, that's so crazy. Oh, yeah. It's like, who's doing all this stuff yeah. back there? <laughs> hey, guilty. You know, it's so crazy. I think I remember that now. That's why I want to watch a game or something, because I, like, um, what's the tall girl? Lisa Leslie, right? Lisa, yeah. When she first got to the, the WNBA when it first opened, it was like, because she was tall, I used to watch it. I used to be like, and Lisa oh, that one ball, tall though. girl. Right, that's what I'm saying. And Lisa can ball. So that's why mm -hmm. it's like, so that, there it is, right matter, there. Matter of fact, Lisa is, um, I think she won the three-on-three, -three, that Ice Cube League. That oh, yeah? She oh, won yeah. That. Lisa right has two rings with the Sparks. Um... 
That's yeah. What's up. Yeah. This is really, that's really great. Good. You know, number Lisa's 11, too. I like who, that. I like that. Number 11. Yeah, I was number 11, but I know all the people in LA going to hate me. I was an Isaiah Thomas fan. No, so. I like just 11, yeah. period. Think about transgender men trying to play in the WNBA. Oh, well, I think gosh. we can hoop them out. I have the problem when they get to boxing. Because okay. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, I'm probably going to get killed for saying, I'm like, wait a minute no, now. You that power behind them punch is still the same. <laughs> okay. You know, <laughs> basketball, we haven't seen it yet. They and better not. They, Man, they better not. You know, we haven't seen it yet, but, I hope you not. know, I, it, it'll be interesting because I think it affects the women's game more than it does the men because you're not going to see too many women jump into – you know, if they trans jump into the I NBA or something happen. like that. Yeah, yeah. What if you like have a girl on a WNBA team and she get pregnant? <laughs> what well, they what do? What are the players? Uh, Wait, that does happen. That we does, do yeah. have. Uh, oh, you crazy! I just feel like oh, <laughs> on the same team. Oh, I just, oh, I just figured out what he said. Oh. They can't make the they can't make the game today because they delivering. They expect it. Oh, Lord, I can't. <laughs> I'm out what he said. Yeah, I think all of crazy funny. scenarios. Yeah, crazy. No, yeah. You guys ever been to a WNBA game? I've never been to a WNBA game. Anybody? I tried to go to. I tried to go because I was in Vegas for the fight. Oh, yeah, that's right. They didn't have change for a $5 bill, so I couldn't get in. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got the jokes. We got the jokes. Hey, and Vegas got a lit team now. Yeah, they actually, they number one in the league. I Matter of fact. I don't want to go to the game because I'm staying at the Mandalay Bay, and they play their home games there. At the Mandalay Bay, yeah. They said, because I left my ID in my room, and they said, you can't get in without an ID. When I got to my room, I'm like, I just watch it on TV. Hmm. Yeah, Chelsea Gray, their point guard, used to play for the Sparks. As a matter of fact, I traded for her out of um, Connecticut. Oh, we won a championship with her. Yeah, yeah. And then Candace Parker's down there, Asia yeah. Wilson, you know. When I was 15, I tried to holler at you. You don't remember me. Uh, oh, nah. oh, oh, if you, is she married? If you were 15, he ain't have a job. He ain't have a job. That's why I'm definitely not going to remember. <laughs> right. Like, like, like. <laughs> Craig, we really want. Fun though, isn't it? Yeah. See, I can't yeah. say that. I don't see. I can't say that because I really want it to work out for Craig because he over ten with flirting on the fifty one fifty. I don't want hey. to be like Corey. You was cock blocking me, man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I'm having so much fun, y'all. I, yeah, I expect everybody over at the ice house I'm at least coming. to have I'm a drink or something. You ain't you got to say let me tell you right something. down the street. You sit up here acting like when you come on this show, we wouldn't come to the ice house. You got oh, that come. it factor about you. That ain't me being phony. Like, I heard about you. Well, but, I hope it was all good stuff then. Uh-huh. I hope it was all good. <laughs> no, it was. It was yeah, good stuff. Good. It was like the girl with the big booty over there. The ice <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you, Kathy. We do have a comedian in the house, y'all. <laughs> no, we. I, I love you. I, this ain't me being phony. I love your energy. I used to play ball back in the day when I um, didn't eat as much. <laughs> so my nickname was the dunk creator. But I'm just saying... I feel oh, your yeah, energy. Oh, yeah, that's the crew when we won our third championship right, right there. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's hey, you know, you know what's so good about this story? I'm going to tell you a story about this. It was funny because the Dodgers were in the playoffs. And you oh, know, wow. Magic yeah, is a he's part of the around. Dodgers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And they were like, Penny, keep us a seat. Keep Magic a seat. He's coming to the game. This is in Minnesota. Then they said, then they called me, oh, he's not going to come. And then Magic actually left the Dodgers, got on his own plane, got to Minnesota, and I forget, um, I forget the point guard um, that was in Minnesota that was all in my way, blocking my way. Yeah. I forget the little point guard. Now, I was like, now, when Magic walked in, I go, now, here's a real point guard. Oh, Sit oh, down, you oh, know oh. what I'm saying? Ooh. We won by one point. Wow. Hold on. One who point. Who was the point guard? I want to know who I, it was. I wish I could remember his name. That's what I can say. Forgettable already, oh, you know? Oh, oh. But um, <laughs> he was standing up, and they kept going, oh, that's such and such. He owns the building. I go, nah, who could probably buy the building just walked in? Yeah, right. Magic, he literally got on his plane, flew all the way to Minnesota, and walked in right before we tipped off. The, the, left the That's Dodger great. playoff See. game to get to the um, Sparks championship game. That's, That's great. Yeah. So Mag Magic is a good dude, ain't he? Yeah, yeah Magic's cool. Yeah. Magic's I hear a lot really of good nice. stuff about Magic mm -hmm. since I've been out here in yeah, LA. Yeah, Magic's really nice. He's really nice. And, you know, he hires a lot of females, you know, um, in his office, and yeah, I don't. I can honestly say I don't work with some of the best. There it is. You know, that's great. That's me. Can't when I was in high school, they found the picture. Oh, oh, oh there oh, you oh, go. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
That's the dunk creator right there. <laughs> oh, you look pretty nice right there, though. Uh-oh. Right. Oh, you yeah. looking, you Real life cool kicked right in. There. Real Come life on. kicked in. Yeah, he looked hard. Look at Marcus. Right? Marcus mad because I ain't fat in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good year for you. Hey, you're back. Whoever's backstage, they pulling up some pictures, so I hope you paying them well because they get these pictures you up coming quick. Okay. You coming yeah. I think I owe Abe. I paid everybody oh. else. I ain't <laughs> paid. <laughs> Cole, you, you kind of look like magic right there on that picture. Oh, shit. And the picture they just showed him. I magic. know, like when he was at Michigan, huh? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't you? Oh, oh. You know I ain't going to get mad. You good. Yeah. That was good. Oh, now raise man. your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all, look, we going we to wrap it up, but. I, I want to see if uh, Marcus wanted to plug yeah, yeah, this yeah. thing real quick. Uh, uh, first of all, thank you to everybody that came through the roast last week, man. The roast was dope, Cole. Yeah, happy That's birthday again. That's right. Good time. Oh, Craig, and all, Craig on the way he went to. He had to go? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, appreciate y'all, man, that showed up man, and, and, and rock with me, man. We had a ball. That's uh, good. This weekend I'm in Baton Rouge for Friday and Saturday uh, at the Silly Rabbit Comedy Club. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right here. We, the I'm silly the, rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The silly rabbit coming to the club, man, out there in Baton Rouge. It was 90 degrees outside with that suit on. You had it on. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> it's a picture. That was a coming show. That's a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I know. To be honest with you, I don't think I've, this is the first time I've seen Marcus and he didn't have a suit on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I, every time I've seen him, he had a suit on. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, man. I'm going to lay back. I just got, came back from the Bahamas, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I'm still on vacation right here in my mind, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Had me giving me a little Bahama mamas out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, God, yeah. You're too funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be in Boston next 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 Thursday on the 10th. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know? Last Boston. All right, there it is. Last Boston, man. So come rock with me. And mainstream tomorrow at 6. Y'all already know, tap in. That's what's up. So um, next week we're going to have some T-shirts we're going to put in the uh, joint. But I just, I just want to, um, well, Craig had to get up out of here and make a move. Um, but yo, um, Thank you everybody for tuning in. I want to thank the sister for coming on the yes. show. This was such a delight. I can't wait to go. <laughs> thank you. This was such a delight. I will see you at the ice house. Absolutely. I expect yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be anyway. back through Penny. I know. I owe you a call, Mark. <laughs> I'm in person now, so that's even better. <laughs> yeah. Darling, you got the cold out your eye? I saw you getting... It's not cold. Okay, well, whatever that yellow stuff is. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Remind It flew over yeah, here yeast. from your mouth. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 5150, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. We That's up right. out. Hey. Be safe. Be safe, Jeez, everybody. I guess that's the word. <laughs>
Fifty one fifty show. Fifty one fifty. 